Anything that you brothers want to start with is what Joe wants to start with. First of all, I feel uncomfortable. I don't want to interrupt you. (laughs) I want to interrupt you. I'm uncomfortable. I'm not going to talk till I know you're finished. (laughs) Till I know you're finished. How about that? I like this little number, man. I like your entire outfit. (laughs) I like everything about what you're donning today. This old thing. Friendship vibe today, Maul. I like it. You're a friend. Thank you. He's a friend. He's a friend. D'Angelo's a friend. <laughs> no, we're the friends. Well, he's our friend. Oh, that's true. He did invite us to the Apollo. He's a friend. Save on the dawn. Hey. Hey, friend. Uh, the gorilla glue to this network. What? You is. Huh? Your friend Alex <laughs> I said, I said over okay. there. Come on, man. You got your buddy with you. Cool. <laughs> got, your, got, your, got your road buddy dog with you. chilling yeah, with you. Man. It's like y'all back in uh, high school, you know? One, one buddy up, one buddy down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Enough buddies to go around. Hopefully. 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 Running thin over we lo- here. We, yeah. hey, we losing buddies. It's a, lot, a lot of fellas. <laughs> uh, E-Rab over there. Hey. What's up, friend? Uh, white thought, white mamba. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come well, on, man. Come on, come on, come on man. Us. It's us. Come on, man. It's us, man. They thought. All right, come on, man. Let me see what we're doing. Get some tunes for us, Joe? Let's see what we're doing, man. Let's go. Yes, sir. Hope everybody's feeling good. Let's bring me back to the 90s real quick. Let me get quiet. One, two, slow the house, what up? Trick, trick, what up? Wait a minute! Yes, sir. Hope everybody's feeling good, feeling great. Let me turn this down for a little bit. We got good weather out in New York. I was watching that hip-hop undercover shit, and I heard this come on. Reminded me of when I first heard this. It was a Crooked Eye song when I first heard it. It was supposed to be on it. Crook, what up? I'm just Call away. Oh, Come no. in without permission, I want his shit you gotta say. Oh Never. no. I created these laws, so I enforce them. All we coming for is our portion. They don't wanna do what we tell them, so we force them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got here. Tell your trick trick. Talking yeah, shit. You know, yeah, yeah, you know. See, damn sure ain't rapping. <laughs> Just telling you what it Just is. Talking. <laughs> going I made this shit. I'll kill you. Come over here. Call me. <laughs> Jack in. <laughs> he just, all right, man. Face full of Tims and Air Forces. Get dead, bust in, a whole bunch of Yeah, young was good, so boy. Treat you like the Catholic Church treating the poor. We call it respect. You call it extortion. The big dogs out. Put the little ones on the porch. Yeah. This ain't my city. Look, look, look. Nigga, this my fortress. Look, and the king's been okay, young killed this we don't bust guns, we blow torches Slide from the tip of these bitches for you informants Cause it's important, willing to risk seeing the warden Or leaving your kids to be Uh-oh. orphans Here it goes And we rolling, we smoking Fuck your mama, fuck your home You ain't giving me what I want My niggas tied in bandanas and sneak up on you like Hey
No, it's not allergic. That's the truth. Microphone check one two. What is this? The JBP boys bike to business. Welcome to episode four twenty three. I'm your humble, grateful, gracious four twenty two. Oh, my apologies. We forgive you. Uh, oh, thank you, man. <laughs> what would I do without forgiveness for my friends? That's true. Uh, episode 422 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Rory is here. Parks is here. Erab is here. Maul is here. Savon is here. And Alex, the greatest here. Gentlemen, how's everybody doing? Good. How y'all feeling? How Great. was your weekend? It's fucking beautiful Good. outside. How's yeah. your mood? It is nice. Yeah. Changes your yeah. mood drastically. Yeah. Yeah. That coming into spring after the winter? You just get, just get extra happy. My body is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Take me, Summer. <laughs> Take all of me. Yo, I'm here and we should move to Tulum. <laughs> I'm with it. Yeah, I'm hearing that. That's what you... Th- who to- who young, told young you? Boys? <laughs> no, young boys out cousin, there getting crazy? My cousin, D-Mac. Okay, oh, shout okay. out D-Mac. Yeah, he moved out there. For it's real? really easy, yeah, because once you go to Mexico, you automatically get six months to stay. Like, they stamp your passport with a visa. Hmm. So you get six months to stay... Cost of living, you get a crazy house out there for a thousand dollars a month. It's a bunch of people from New York that live out there now that people don't know about. It's like, New LA, yeah. Like I'm hearing, well, like it's really booming. Booming, like how? Like it's where people are moving. Like it's like people are treating it like another state at this point. So some of the same things we've heard about uh, Austin, Texas, yeah, uh, Miami. City. I've heard that going, beautiful yeah. city. Yeah, no, but like yeah, I'm hearing Tulum moving, is man. like. What What are the tax laws in Tulum? It's a great oh, question. How goes. Yeah. I do know people have started businesses out there through yeah. COVID, like yeah. Americans I know, and haven't seemed to have any problem. We should ask them though. Yeah. Get some actual details. Yeah, let's find out. I was watching. Uh, I was watching a Heath Ledger doc. Uh, another one uh, <laughs> over the, over rest, the rest weekend. In rest in peace, Heath Ledger. And they were talking about how when he when he passed, who knows what his uh what his worth was because he had so much money tied up in Australia. Okay, uh, and they were just talking about how. You don't want to write a will when you're famous because a will goes through probate court and it's open for a public record and you can fight over it. So mm. like if, if I if I perish mm. and I have a will and it says, hey, Joe Budden was worth something stupid. Let's say 40, 50 million dollars. Mad, uh, mad money. Yeah. Then the 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 people who are named in the will you can go to court and fight over and, this stuff. And people that are not named in the will like that maybe feel they should be. Mm. It's just a mess. Yeah. So that's why they Which said is, when um famous or not famous but people with money die, they do it like uh who was that? Was that ghost? Was that ghost where they appoint somebody and then they hand it out? That person <laughs> Oh yeah. Hands it out There's to the name. people. Yeah. I forgot what that name of that person is. Yeah, I forgot is. the name too. But yeah, so, so I forgot we, how I, we should just put all our money into Tulum is what you're saying. <laughs> and uh, just keep all our shit over there. I mean, just go there for four months. You know what I mean? Go, get a visa. I was so many girls going to Tulum. I know you ain't got no job. Tell me who bought you that room. Why are so many girls going to Tulum? Who bought you that ticket? Cause I know it wasn't you in Tulum. It's Women's Month. So we want to shout out all the women, forgot, yeah. all the women that are out there. Happy listening. belated International Women's Day. We all bought them tickets yeah. to Tulum for. We want to shout out International Women's. Shout out Rory for even playing that clip. I never heard that. I never heard yeah, that. you know, little number. Do sleep do sleepers early. <laughs> oh, that was the sleeper. That was, yeah, that was my sleeper pick. The part that you failed. The part that you failed to mention about your cousin D Mac moving out to Tulum is that he's also appeared in. Uh, some of the uh, world best body competitions that they have. <laughs> and and yeah, he, you a, left that part out. He's, he's, a, he's a fitness, a physique model. He's yeah. also and, trained some of the best bodies that we yeah. all admire. No, but he's really been in some of those, hey, if you, you're the best male body on earth. <laughs> yeah, what did he come in like 11th? Like, I, don't, I don't think that's an L. <laughs> no, no he, he's, he competes. He, I'll he, take he, that. Yeah, I'll take yeah, that. so him moving to Tulum. 11 and 6 billion. Bro. Well, he probably incentivized in ways that Joe is not before you got no, no, here. No, 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 no. I was he, talking about how badly built I am and how my house has mirrors everywhere. Don't be, don't be, don't be, um, don't let that Deter hold me? you back. No, trust me, don't. Yeah, no, you'll still get pussy. It's people like they, oh no, they, 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 they still suck on my chest. They're not even. Yeah, they, <laughs> they're not crazy. even worried There's about food that. there now. They're not even worried about that. It don't. There's no. <laughs> it's no indentation there. <laughs> Nothing. They just. 
<laughs> just one thing. It's just a, a Look, nipple we, right we got there. Hundred, listen, <laughs> it just exists. It's a hundred, a tattoo. What's your tattoo say? <laughs> I got a hundred days skinny, until summer. Know. So, you know what I mean? Just get on your program. I got to give it to you and Rory, man. You, you, you and Rory, you, you guys have been ahead of the summer bod competition. Like, yeah, you got to start in the winter. I just knew that summer was canceled, so I haven't done a push up since 2017. That's okay. Start you today. guys, though, you guys, man, it was canceled way after 2017. Yeah, <laughs> no, but that, it, yeah, but 2017 is when I won that fight, so I didn't feel like I needed a push up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that hit that did it. Oh, all right, <laughs> that cool. still land. <laughs> oh, shit, that dazed them a little. Uh, right. Imagine with the strength, yeah, yeah, imagine <laughs> if I work I out. <laughs> The city wouldn't be safe if yeah, I got yeah. muscles. The city's so safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I did a little push up, but yeah, I don't no. Know. But Tulum, man, I'm hearing, I'm hearing great, great things, man. It's a paradise every day you wake up. The weather is nice, I'm sure. Yeah. Now we're a New York biased podcast, so they say. What about like the cartels, though? Hmm? The cartels. Well, you just pay your taxes. Ah. Yeah, they have yeah, cartels. And, and we Tulum have the government. Is, is tourist, cartel is, taxes. Yeah, yeah. No. that's all. It's, yeah. it's safe. It's safe. Uh, shout out to our first and last time listeners. Uh, shout out to our favorite app, the app that empowers us, powers us, sponsors us, tolerates us, puts up with us. Our favorite, bestest app in the whole wide world, Cash App. Boy, they had a lot of, they had a lot of, they had a lot of questions about that one too. Oh, so do you guys pod for title now? <laughs> Do you pod for Hove? They try to, they try to tie it We've together. always potted for Hove. Right? No, Jack. Let's be clear. <laughs> Jack actually owns this podcast now. I don't know yeah, if you guys knew that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. They try to tie it all that. together, make it make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, they, like, <laughs> like they normally do. It's fine. Um, yeah, shout out to all listeners. I, I've been reading your uh, comments. <laughs> Once you start itching the face. <laughs> Gave you a headache. The comments. <laughs> I hate these niggas. <laughs> I hate everyone. Well, I don't read them, man. I just stay off of that shit. Reading the comments, man. I was reading them in the middle of some self doubt. Maybe must be. Oh, that's, uh, the, that's, that's the best time oh, to read comments yeah. about yourself. Uh, that's when you go looking for them. Yeah. Hey, oh. maybe someone say something good and I'll <laughs> yeah, feel better. Yeah, and then it's just yeah, way yeah. shittier yeah. stuff. I'm like, oh wow. I guess yeah, I guess all the feelings I have about myself are true. <laughs> <laughs> I do suck. <laughs> Rory's absolutely right. That's when you have to price is right the comments. Yes. Which is horrible. I hit them with the <laughs> long stroke, like when they turn the wheel. Whoosh, yeah. Just wherever you land, just, just hope like, it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> nah, Joe ain't too bad. See? <laughs> Somebody, on, this is what on. I've been See? telling y'all. You feel me right here. Somebody man. understands me. Somebody understands me. <laughs> um, yeah, then but, I got to pretend to LOL with the, with the hate. Ha ha ha. You guys are funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really insecure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good, good one, Dan. <laughs> Dan with no no picture. Dan, oh, oh, Dan seven, eight, three, seven, six, nine, five, four, two. Two, nine. You understand me. <laughs> we should be friends. <laughs> oh man, I forgot what I was saying. I don't remember. Um, Maul is sitting next to some, um, some strangely gold boxes. Yeah, I came there. down there. I thought um, I figured this park's got you know he got his his shrine going. So I thought this was some more park shit. Parks yeah. ordered some coming to America merch. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's fine, they send you the bracelets arrived. and everything to wear. He's, he's and, getting yeah. paid to sweet about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> take a picture in front of the TV watching the movie. Yeah. Ooh, Eddie did it again. Yeah. <laughs> He put his silver coming to America tribal bracelet on already. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's I don't. True. And his. Uh, let me see. Coming to America Apple Watch. I wonder yeah, what's in. What, what are in these? He's books. in America. You know, maybe more. Well, maybe we should unbox one. That looks like someone that understood the vision. Hey. Want unbox one? Hey. That doesn't look yeah, like Dan ahead. 0078. I unboxed one earlier, so I'll just blow the reveal as you oh, guys. Come on, man. You want me to wait? Yeah, one more. I'll wait, man. Box. I'll wait. When, when was the last what, time? What could it be? When was the last time you really unboxed something though? Like you really felt good about yourself after. Like, oh, I did okay, that. So I she can't say shit to me for another month. This all first. That never works. <laughs> that never, never did that. Never works. No, I've done it. It's never worked. They always say something to me like three days after. What they got for? All right, Maul. What they show? There's show four the, show boxes. The, people the coming to America. It's four. Ones. It's four of us. Crazy. Mm. It's like when you got your Rockefeller chain, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Finally, we get some respect around these parts. <laughs> I'm gonna put that shit on a chain. Damn, this shit got some weight to it. Yeah. Yeah, hey, no, they, they, they didn't hold said. back this year. Yeah, man. She was talking about your stomach. A BT Hip Hop Award. No. Just shit off, Maul. Let them know what that is. Word. Ain't talking about hip hop since. Okay. <laughs> Nice, man. Show uh, show the viewers. Yeah. Yeah. Get a Come on, do me a favor. Grab this, grab this, uh, 
Award, bring it up to the camera so they know the vibes, please. Bring that up there for the YouTube commenters. Mm. The haters. I thought someone that, that didn't have the best hip hop platform said something. That's what I thought. Come on, J. Dot Button turn rappers and yes, yes, sit it there, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm a crook like you. You're not even a crook. <laughs> no one in here is a crook. Look, so. that's not true. <laughs> it's only well, it's only you. That is not true. Thank you, BT. Yeah, thank you. All right, so, thank you, the fans, for uh, voting us. Yeah, man. Come uh, and get and me. we're just happy to be nominated as well with Hot New Hip Hop Double XL, mm. Hip Hop mm. DX. Shout out to all the nominees. Uh, yeah, for sure. But yeah, thanks to B, thanks to BT for actually designing a really cool award with it some cool. with some weight yeah, it's to dope. it. Yeah, it's we appreciate dope. y'all. Thank y'all. We are we are humbled, but we deserved it, and we were better than the rest of the nominees. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, get your shit off. <laughs> what you you know, want? I'd love. To, I, I totally thought that I would win this one. I'd, no I'd love to say I didn't expect no this, but my mind who I, are we kidding? I have a little note. <laughs> I, have, I prepared a little note here. I'm so Fuck surprised they won the award I deserve. <laughs> Why niggas be like, yo? I don't know where to find the words and then find mad words. Yeah. <laughs> you were nominated like you've been six up months there. ago. <laughs> you've been up there talking for seven minutes, no. sir. You found <laughs> enough words. Oh, yo, we're joking, but we're not. <laughs> no, we really are the best. Yeah. I can, we can't do that because all the YouTube uh, the commenters are saying that my ego is about to be the demise of this podcast. Well, uh, it's been the demise of other things in your life. Ma, so. they're telling me that it's over. My ego is growing too big, and what will we do about it? Oh, Joe, you fumbled the bag. And then I felt, hold up for a minute, Paul, because oh, I was hurt. I felt the <laughs> way about it. Because uh-huh. my ego is way bigger than they were yeah. saying. <laughs> oh, you haven't yeah. shown them anything oh, yet. Oh, my right? God. Yeah. Wait till they get a load of me. I'm waiting till we get the back catalog back from Spotify <laughs> in, in May 2022. <laughs> I'm our, showing my ass. Our demise is going to be way crazier than they yeah, think. Come on, what? man. Come It'll on, be fireworks at our demise. <laughs> Yeah, I got a couple more egotistical tricks to show them. But, uh, well, I'm, while, I'm while you're on your ego, I, I, I do have some gripes about the JBN. Uh-oh. I did want to come here and, and, and talk about some things. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, Uh-oh. Yesterday. Hey, get HR ready. Who, HR ready. Where did he touch you? <laughs> His thigh. I, but I like that. <laughs> I welcomed it. Oh, fuck. I walk right into show, it. Show, show us on the award I, I where he touched right you. <laughs> show us on the award where. So, so on Kate, the award. Keep fondled me. Um, so I go to do uh, See the Thing Is Pod. With with Brandy and um, um Brandy. Brandy. Brandy, what am I talking about? Mandy, Brandy and Bridget, I put Bridget them together. Kelly. They're Brandy now. They're Brandy uh, together. They're Brandy like to, together. Okay. I like the branding. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's good. I was cool, th- thinking about my down. lawyer. That's why. Yeah. Um. So I get in there. I go in, go into Prime Studio or the JBN headquarter room. Mm-hmm. Savon's the first face I see, and he's smiling. Mm-hmm. Never seen Savon smile. Okay. He don't smile here. You're right. That's true. The energy feels really joyful. Parks is. I think doing wind sprints in the hallway yeah, Parks is in a with his better, arms up, just having much, a fucking blast. Parks is in a much yeah, that's, how, that's how he gets focused. That's how he hears everything better. Yeah. No, that's true. I walk down the hallway. I see a room that I've never seen, and I've been in that studio countless times. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a closet. Mm-hmm. No, it's a whole room dedicated to Screen Man and Savon with monitors to monitor the podcast. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah they're not in the actual room. Then as time progresses, before we start recording, I see like a lot of white dishes with amazing pasta meals Mm -hmm. and like real silverware Mm -hmm. and everyone is just grubbing and then I started to hinder back on how I'm treated at this podcast (laughs) with my bags of Cheetos and plastic forks. Yeah, gotta keep the essence. Everyone was happy there. Yeah, Ian was there. Corey was there. The legendary DJ Premier was chilling. Mm -hmm. Mm. Prem in the cut. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. regular. I'm working on something now. Mm. Yeah. Checking out the pod vibe. They had the whole JBN staff there happy. My Keeb was there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keeb has never even been in this basement. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. Why are you favorit- favoriting that podcast? Mm. We get nothing over here. We don't even get snacks. We get snacks. We get Cheetos. They had a real napkins. Funions. You see the Funyuns? You get. It's not even double bounty uh, paper towels. Yeah, it's one play. Come on, man. This that's backwash. They had First real. You know, like good real bash- napkins. Backwash. Listen, man. I'm I'm going over there full time. Okay. This will be my last it podcast does, with you guys. <laughs> no, I'm an official member of See the Thing is. It does feel good over there. You're right. No, it's it's refreshing. When, when I go in there Mondays, it, it does it's a different vibe. It's yeah, different Screen from Man was glowing. recording. <laughs> he was glowing when I walked in. Yeah, they should have called him for coming to America. You'd have fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm trying to see my all my guys get gigs. Bandemic. Mm. It's a pandemic. Mm. 
It is. Uh, some favoritism going on. That's all. See, yeah. the thing is, <laughs> that's where the network is. Mm. I just think people don't care about men. Well, that's another well, they don't. point for me. Yeah. yeah. Not in Women's Month. And yeah, we don't really care. No, in Women's Month. Yeah, we don't care about men. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> what was the last time you gave a fuck I about a man? I don't give a fuck about men. <laughs> well, I, speaking I, of not giving a fuck about a man, I'm going to just try to get this in real quick, and then we can move on. Y'all don't have to pay any attention to it. Okay. <sighs> Let me find a different way to say it. It should be good. Because mm-hmm. I'm going to get Use your words wisely, because they listening. killed. Yeah, they out there. Mm. On my way over here today. Okay, it's a good start. I took Is it? I took the highway. Okay. And I have to say there was no traffic at all. Mm. And the lanes were fire. These were some of the best lanes I've ever heard. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Mm. I've never seen the lanes like this. Mm. No, I get it. Now, yeah. it was a street I didn't even want to take. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But I never took it. Way, and when I got GPS, there, GPS just put you there. I'm yeah, sorry. come yeah, on, yeah. soul, the driver. Like, yeah, yo, yeah. what you want right now? Yeah, yeah. Man, that, that shit was fire as hell. <laughs> oh, I'm in a spot now. Yeah. I'm in a spot. That's all I can say. And we can move right on. Move, move right on. Move right on. But, I get it. I got what you mean. I get what you but mean. But it just. I'm all, I only pay attention to it. I feel like such a hypocrite. I do. Well, you I, if I'm being you transparent are. with you, if you ever read the YouTube I feel like, comments, I do feel like you are such a hypocrite. Oh, is that a woman? It's woman's month. You got to answer. <laughs> Decline. Oh, someone's feeling spicy. spicy. <laughs> you, sh- you showed her Ooh. She'll think twice next time <laughs> I'll get to you when I get to you <laughs> Sometimes you gotta remind yourself Who you be yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Who you be? I, I, no one <laughs> No one at all But listen It only takes a few weeks For all the people that got mad At how you acted on Valentine's Day to They come, come back, back. They come, <laughs> come back around That's what it is. Yeah. The sun is out yeah. It's been a whole month now yeah. Yeah. Hey how you doing You know yeah, how I'm yeah, doing you know- you know what I'm doing. You see me. You saw how great my Valentine's yeah. Day was. Oh, 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 oh. Without you. Oh. Bacon lobster. Oh, yeah. you kidding me? Yeah. Come on. Tough. <laughs> All right. Uh, come on. Let's get to something. Let's get to something. Got to be something to get to. All-Star Weekend recap. All-Star Day. Well, the weekend there was a, No. There was a celebrity game, wasn't there? Saturday. It was a weekend. Let's start there. Do you guys have any deep takeaways uh, to pull from the celebrity two-on-two? Yes. Because I do. Who do you guess? Saving it. Basketball is harder than people think. Uh, you're saying it's too much to playing Quavo. Just because you're from the hood and you're from the streets don't mean you can hoop. Quavo could. Yeah, Quavo can play. <laughs> All right. But, but, I'm but, taking it way deeper than, on, than this. Are we putting anything to the little baby Quavo rumors? Are we or no? Should we shut up now? Uh, I'm cool with P and all them niggas now. I don't want to make it bad again. Nah, I'm not really putting too much into that. Not based off of anything I saw. Quavo had 17 points, 18 rebounds, no, and Qua- 11 assists. <laughs> he fucked around and caught triple double. And you know, Qua- Quavo they can- only went to 21 more. <laughs> no, you want me to think that there was no beef <laughs> involved in this? No, Did anybody Quavo- see Quavo's stat line? Can you answer my question before no, you talk? No, but Quavo can hoop, though. Can you answer what I'm saying yeah, no, and then I'll I let you? I don't want to no, suppress I, I, anybody's I, I, opinion. I, don't, I didn't put nothing into it, no. I just know that Quavo can hoop. <laughs> I expected but, him to have But a, triple have, double? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you two seen, two you seen him block the three pointer? Yeah, he, and that was surprising uh, it, on two chains. All right, I'm done talking to you because two chains he I'm, can hoop too. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. done talking to you. Did, did, you, did you guys see the block? I did. I did see the block. Was it yes. an aggressive block? It was, uh, but it's yeah. that's how you are supposed to yeah, most do that block. Are aggressive, yeah. And I'm done commentating. Can't passively this block someone because I'm definitely calling P soon to say, "Yo, I got to get with you." Having double digit, <laughs> <laughs> having double digit points and assists going to 21 is insane. In a two on two game. Who's who's keeping those stats? That's the more insane part. <laughs> Jack Harlow. No, that's that's an assist for Quavo. What? I like Jack Harlow because <laughs> in, in every clip I saw of Jack Harlow, he did what what are you supposed to do? Just pass to Quavo. Move well, he moves well pass, space. Pass away. Yeah, smart right player. Quavo. Move, moves without the ball. Now, yeah. now, listen, you guys. I never expected Lil Baby to really have game because after I've interviewed him, 
and spoke to some dudes that are, you know, outside more than me. I don't think he ever had the time to, yeah. <laughs> There's a, to, to really that's not okay. work on his free throw. Yeah, that's not, that's not, the, that's uh, not where he spent most of his time. You know, yeah. for, you yeah. know yeah. I mean, people spoke- that uh, participate in those activities, usually yeah. Little League wasn't really their thing. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't yeah. do CYL? No, I, I doubt it. Like mm-hmm. when uh, 50 threw out the first pitch at uh, City Field. Yeah. And it was like, wow, I thought 50 would be more athletic. I was like, hey, he's so crack. I don't think I don't think he was really at the, the yeah. baseball diamond. He was he was pitching Working something else. Pitch. Yeah. He wasn't pitching baseball. He was pitching eight balls. Yeah, a little they, different. When they Slightly. caught when yeah. they caught Hove, when yeah. they caught Hove throwing the football, I was like, same, man, same thing. He was in the the caravan with Emery going to yeah. Maryland. Same thing. He didn't have time for for pickup <laughs> football. <laughs> yeah, no. Which leads me to why Durkio is even greater than we all thought he was. Oh, no, I imagine that you've best. all seen the clips of Dirk no, playing ball. Pro- I, yeah, he, he has a jumper. He's the best uh, rapper basketball player. Now, I've spoken to some outside Outside source. of Master P, of course. Master P actually played in an NBA exhibition game. So Now. Cam, well, Cam, too, no? Uh, I he makes the NBA, but he played yeah, Cam serious played high college ball. Yeah, yeah. Played Shaq, high Iverson, Kobe, they all, they all rapped. They were Wait, I want to get to the list rappers. of rappers. I don't want y'all to speed through the rappers because I do want to talk about rappers that can hoop. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but back to Durkio really quick. Uh, for his game to be so refined with, I imagine, not very much time to work on his skill set as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For whatever reason, be making music, I'm sure. Of course. Extra, yeah. extra curriculums he was doing. He's a little too nice. That's your talent. Yeah. No, Dirk, he he can play. He but can where play. did he learn to play like that? Like, this guy really wanted to make it out of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find a way. Hey, yeah. either you're slinging crack rock or you got a wicked jump shot. Dirk right. said, I got both. Yeah. I'm getting out of this hood. And I can rap. And still didn't necessarily get all. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'll 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 leave you. it alone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, Dirk can play, though. He can really hoop. Is Dirk the nicest uh, rapper, rapper, basketball player? So yeah, I've seen, yes. H- him and Lil Dicky. I've never seen Lil Dicky hoop. Yeah, Lil Dicky hoop. He can you, play you ball You've seen real. Mad Lil Dickies. <laughs> <laughs> it was right there. It was right there. I'm leaving. <laughs> leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Um, I follow Daylight on Instagram, and he posts a lot of his pickup basketball games no, he can where he's he can hooping, ball. hooping. Yeah. No, I just don't know who he's playing against. Daylight can hoop. I know, I know he can he hoop. He can really hoop, yeah. But I don't know if he's doing that against they Bugs. Like, surf can hoop, too. I've seen Surf hoop before. Surf can hoop. Uh, Joel, Joel Ortiz can hoop. Yeah, Joel can hoop. Uh, Cam can hoop. I never saw Jim hoop, but Jim chimed in and said he, him and Cam 2-1-2. Two two. East can hoop. I would imagine that Dave he East played, can hoop. Yeah. Two yeah. chains should ball. know how to hoop. I think he played college ball, too. Yeah, he did play college ball. Yeah. Uh, what did you guys think of the actual All-Star Day, the, the festivities? I thought they made the best of, you know, it was a... A, the different situation they had to you know move things around kind of put everything into one one day um so they did the best they could but it, it this c- is a clear indicator that the fans are necessary for all-star weekend you have to have the fans in the building they only had about 2500 people at the game and you can you can feel that you can feel that you know that energy was missing when um you know I, when dame and i think steph started shooting from half court yeah i think if it was you know more people in the building that would have been a a yeah, moment, a bigger moment, you know. what I mean, things like that. Um, but they did the best that they could, and it, for what it was, it was enjoyable. I guess you know. I enjoyed it. No, I, 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 I actually it thought it was great yeah. for yeah. all the circumstances, and I really didn't mind the. I liked it the all halftime dunk contest. Me like either, I thought, no, no. all that shit was really yeah, cool. I felt like that, the dunk contest like, itself was a little mean, but but yeah, yeah it the was structure. A rushed. I'm it talking felt about. a little rushed. It was only what three contestants. Yeah, it was a little rushed, and but, they weren't um, the most creative of dunks. Yeah, so I mean, you know. We just need the fans back. Any That's other takeaways from the uh, from any of the any of the festivities, the game? I know for me, I I got to tell you guys, uh, I don't think I've ever seen. Let's talk about the LeBron Curry bromance, man. I, I've never seen LeBron so happy to make an assist. <laughs> that I guy. Mean- if there was one person he has been waiting to pass to his whole career, <laughs> it was Steph. And that was on full display. And, wow. And, and you know he talked to him after the game. So what do you think about LA, man? You like, you like Los Angeles? You know, <laughs> Same right, state. Yeah, 30-minute thir- flight. You're you right there. change much. Yeah, that was my takeaway. It was good watching that bromance because they both looked really happy about that. Um, Dame, Dame and Curry, man. Those guys. 
How do you think Dame need to come to the Knicks? I got a list of people that need to come to the Knicks. <laughs> Dame, Dame Lillard is on there. Bradley Beal is Le- on there. LeBron, cool LeBron would be cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, LeBron Jordan and Steph. That's the backcourt right there, yeah. <laughs> No, I get that's, it. The that's, the back, that's the backcourt. Yeah. No, Matter of fact, this all star team yeah, should just go to the Knicks. Order. You got your backcourt in order. Dame Lillard should be a Nick. And I'm not, I'm not going to say anything I'm else. I'm not going to say a Nick, but Dame, he, he might not like it, but he, he he needs to get out of Portland. And because of his character, I know he, he ain't going to leave. He's not, not going to leave Portland. He's not going to leave. But he needs, he his talent is bigger than Portland Trailblazers. Yeah, but stop, because then you start getting into. Uh, Wanting the big names to leave uh, mid market. I don't want him to leave. I'm just saying that I don't. Or smaller market. Dame, if he was, <laughs> if Dame was in 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 the garden doing this on a nightly basis, you understand. Now he's still an all star, obviously. So he's he's still respected. He's one of the best in the league. But I think it's just different. Uh, but and then the Western Conference is so tough. Like Portland is gonna have a tough time every every year in the playoffs. You know what I mean? To in order to get to the Western Conference Finals and stuff like that, they're gonna have a tough time. So if he's in the Eastern Conference, it may be a little easier to get on that stage with the Eastern Conference Finals, finals, because he needs to be in the finals, and I don't think he'll do that in the Western Conference. I don't think Paul gets there. Well, Mike, important at least. Yeah, no. Mike Conley, check this out, man. It was cute for a minute. You don't like Mike Conley? Again? I love Mike Conley. Oh, okay. I love Mike Conley, but I mean, three point contest. He put twenty nine up there with Steph left up Shot there on well. the deck. Shot well. Shot real good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To, we to, to we to have, we've had, I feel like such a large part of our relationship has to do with Mike Conley. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted him as a nigga at one point, right? <laughs> he's a good point guard. Yeah, no, he's one of the best point no, guards. No, don't do that. I I met Maul through um Mike Conley. Through uh Marcus. And but Marcus was never playing behind Mike Conley. Why was Mike Conley such a Oh yes he was in Memphis. In Memphis. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Maul used to beat me down about Mike Conley. <laughs> I like Mike Conley though. No, no, I like him a lot too. But I liked him at uh, I like him in college. But yeah, now nah, he did great. But that's Steph coming up behind you. Yeah, that's Steph coming up behind Steph you. Steph is it. just it's, it's different, man. Like Steph Curry is just a different. I st- I feel like he is the uh, the league MVP at this point. The Golden State was the worst team in the league last year, and he has them in the playoff picture now with that team that they have, and he's still missing his his second best player. Um, he's just a different talent, man. And Uncle Charles. Uncle Charles, who's that? Oakley? I miss my Uncle Charles. No, just yeah, just that. <laughs> yeah. it, was nothing, it was nothing important. Just a random bulldog. <laughs> <just sounds bad. laughs> Anytime somebody's missing somebody, you got to miss Uncle yeah, got, Charles. Got, man. Yeah. Come on. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Why Quavo do that to Lil Baby? <laughs> Who was keeping he those stats? He had 17 points, 14 rebounds, <laughs> two on and two, four though. blocks. <laughs> two on two. two man. To 21. I didn't even <laughs> cover so much ground. Yeah, he was everywhere. He was everywhere. <laughs> he was everywhere. <laughs> he might be the shortest <laughs> guy on the bottom court. He was every fucking where. That's nuts, man. Lil S- Baby got to shoot him. Since, since uh... <laughs> You got to shoot that nigga. You got to catch him at the locker room. He going too crazy. <laughs> You not stop running around. Yo, court, yo, yo. Where's my fucking gun? Yo, real quick, real quick. Let me just let me just throw this out there. They say Amigos got heat on the way. I believe it. Who's they? Yeah. The streets. Okay, streets. I just Mo- hope it's multiple another... people in the streets. I hope it's on a twenty four song album again. People that I people that well, some of them that I trust. Mm. Other ones, they be wrong a lot. Okay. But they tell me that Amigos has heat coming. I would I, expect Amigos to have. Yeah. They they've been chilling. Take so. yeah, take some time off. You know what I mean? Like everybody go do their thing, live, experience some things, you know, unlock new ways to rap, new things to rap about. Man, let me tell Sweet, you. Sweetie. Yeah, producers. spend some time with Sweetie. Sweetie. Yeah, like, yeah. I can Cardi. Sweetie All Cardi. right, let me explain yeah. this to you guys. If Put up you 17 go get and a two and with two. one of the hottest girls in the world, mm-hmm. and then I do the same. We got heat coming. And our girls will be there. Yeah, 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 sure. Participating. And yeah. we'll get around to it when we get around to it. Not for nothing. Hey, yeah, no, I got the Cardi Sweetie project yeah. coming right up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, no, she, go, out, she Goes is going to kill. You Word. know, shout out shout out to Migos. Uh, shout out to everybody that played in that two-man game. Round of applause for uh, Cardi B. Round of applause for Cardi B while we're at it. I'm just starting with a bunch of shit that I wouldn't normally start with. Uh, first female rapper to achieve a RIAA Diamond Single Award for Bodak Yellow. Congratulations to Atlantic Records and everybody else to play the part in that. Kodak is getting paid. Word. Yeah. I love that just like a freestyle went diamond. We hope. Word. <laughs> That's kind of nuts. I, I, mean, I know they put money behind it, but it started as a freestyle. 
Yeah, there's he has pub on that for sure. Boy, wrote he the name does. of the record yeah. is Bodak Yellow. Yeah. Well, you could write it, and, and it could be named after you, and you still not have pub. <laughs> no, I'm, I, okay, I, know, I would hope. He does. I think yeah. we looked it up before. He has, he has pub. He definitely has yeah. pub on that. Be, it's the same exact yeah. beat, same, I mean. I'm shocked that she's the first female rapper to go diamond anything. Yeah. Or is Miss, it just Miss diamond Edu- singles? Just single. singles. Because I'm sure I think Nicki Miss, Minaj is going diamond something. I mean, the Fugees. I was Miss Education. Uh, then that. Oh, yeah. I think it just went diamond, didn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. it did. Yeah. It did. That's, I, that's don't album, not that's album, not yeah. I don't understand these I don't understand these Congra- stats. Congratulations to, to Cardi. Uh, somebody Which, somebody died over the weekend in Atlanta, right? A uh, couple Chucky people. Chucky Trill. And yes. this sounds scary. Anytime I read about a shootout on the highway, scariest thing ever. Um, Houston rapper Corey Chucky Trill, the Tej killed in Atlanta area shooting. Uh, I don't have any details on this, so I just wanted to say rest in peace and send our love, prayers, and condolences to the family. Yes. So for sure, all star weekend man. in Atlanta. Man. Go go somewhere trying to have fun for a weekend, and you know, tragedy finds you. It's, it's unfortunate, but it's a reoccurring thing in our culture. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. yeah. I was actually shocked. At the amount of people I saw going down there, mm-hmm. I didn't think it was going to be that crazy. I mean, I know Atlanta's wide open; it's already crazy, but I just didn't. I don't know. I felt like the allure of All Star Weekend wasn't the same that it's always been. And I saw everyone on IG going there. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, the the players that were uh, in the game were not; they couldn't go out to any events and stuff like that. But you gotta you gotta know whenever it's that much money headed to one city, yeah, yeah. Uh, people are gonna follow suit. But that's that's just how it's always been, um, and it's Atlanta on top of it. Like, yeah, and unfortunately, it's you know, it's, it's people out there with different agendas. Some people are out there to have fun. Some people are out there to try to get a come up. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's unfortunate that sometimes you run into that energy and tragedy happens. Yeah, you know what I mean. But again, prayers and condolences to his family, his friends. Were these stories true that I kept reading about uh, women not being able to get back home? Of course they're true because you see that all the time with a spring break or mm-hmm. yeah. Why do they do that? I'm just mad. Shorty says I need help getting back home. I'm stuck in Atlanta. She's trying to raise thirteen hundred dollars. Where do you live? Australia? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The flights were expensive this weekend. The flights were expensive. They probably were. Thirteen yeah. hundred out of Atlanta. Yeah, I think I think a lot of these is just. Oh yeah, no, she's at home already. No. <laughs> she's been, she's she's been, she never even went to Atlanta she li- Or she lives in Atlanta I went to Atlanta for All-Star Weekend with $400 only Booked a one way because I was waiting on my unemployment To pay my way back oh, That's always the, the trick right there But they baited But wait, but they baited I need help surviving and making back home to New York Please, anything will help I really hope this young lady finds her way back home Do we got an update? No, alright I mean, I, I hope she does safely as well But I do need some accountability that you went down to Atlanta All Star Weekend with four hundred dollars <laughs> and a one way <laughs> ticket. Like I don't have too much sympathy for yeah, you. You're I an adult. It, I mean, I, ho- I, I hope, hope she's, she's safe. safe. Yes, of I course. hope she's safe. You probably get a bus. Take a while, but yeah. But you I've should not Atlanta be before. going. You for shouldn't real? be mm-hmm. going out of state. Drive True. Seventeen hours. It wasn't bad. I actually really enjoyed the drive. I've done it in a car, but I've never done it in a bus. Oh no no no! Dr- drove a car. Oh, okay. Yeah, not in a bus. I'm Buses. not that thirsty. You shouldn't be going out of, to Atlanta with for a weekend with four hundred dollars. Unless you got like some people there taking care of you, yeah. But no, but even then, yeah. What do no you matter what, what, like what because of safety, I'm not gonna poor shame. <laughs> I, no, I'm, I'm not poor shame. I can stupidity shame. That was a poor decision. <laughs> you can have fun on four hundred dollars in, in Atlanta if you if in the right circumstance. I'm if you're saying going to, you got family or friends there that are putting you up and see. This is that thing you do where no, don't do that part. Why? You As should have. You, I have you can't have, really travel not, to okay, okay, listen, right, hold on. But you had, but you had, a, you had, a, you Michael had a way to get back home seconds. already, though. Yeah. You are not. That's all. You that's what I'm do saying. That. That, that's not, 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 not. She didn't have you, a return flight. Like, come on. You would never do that. That's some. I promise you, I've been to a fun city before with not much money on me. But you had a return flight or a return way to get back home. Then you wouldn't do that. We're talking about this. Go Not somewhere have a return flight it and bank on money that's supposed to hit your account in a few days. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, you know, you wouldn't do that. I probably wouldn't. You can have four hundred dollars in your pocket, do but men you already do that? have your flight security. Do men do that? Tell me. If I got somewhere that's to stay, not, I'll do that. I've no, I've made some trips when I was broke, but yeah. safety and but the I idea that I always had a place home. to get back I, home. I, yeah. I have my or way to get back home. At least somewhere to stay for a week or two while I figure it out. The last time I tried this, not me, but. My crew, I was we. It was Atlanta All Star Weekend. It was it had to be oh three oh two something like that. I think it was, and they was they 03. was out there. 
They yeah. was out there, out there. Mm-hmm. 0304 was somewhere around there. No, I wasn't popping. There was no single, so it had to be 02. Who knows? And I called Dylan and them and was like, yo, they out here. I had never seen nothing like that being from Jersey City. It's my first all-star shit like that. Uh, might have been my first time in Atlanta. Who knows? I was just about to say, if that was your first time in Atlanta, too. Maybe. When you get down there, like, wait. Yeah, maybe. This what, place or, has existed my whole life? Right. I never went. What the fuck? I never went anywhere until I had a record deal. Like, that was my first time in Miami. First time traveling. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that might have been my first time in Atlanta. I called dealing them so fast. I was like, yo, I don't care how y'all get out of here, but y'all need to get out of here. Them niggas hit the highway. <laughs> Okay, that's, see, yeah, so and that's it. fine. They hit the highway. Because you have a you way, have your car a out safe there. fleet way. Right. I'm near. Y'all got money. We don't need to go too crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Worst comes to worst, you can stay in the car. Not say that they did that. But exactly. I've different. done that. Yeah. I but I had a place yeah. to go home. Yeah. Like, all right, I can get out and of And you had a way city. to get home. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you can go. You can have four hundred dollars to spend. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But you better have that return way back home, or somewhere where you can safely stay until you, you know. Yeah. Then, and I yeah. hate to make it a gender check thing, but I also think a woman. For safety reasons, that's bad to not have a positive return home. Absolutely, in Atlanta on All Star Weekend, dangerous, super dangerous. So I can stupidity shame. Listen, all right, I'm. If I was a woman, I wouldn't be in that predicament. This pussy gonna get me home. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to say it. What Aladdin had? It did cross my mind. Aladdin had a magic carpet and rug, right? I got a magic rug too. (laughs) I bet you I get home off this pussy. You could definitely get an OnlyFans up I, and running pretty quick. Yeah, I would hope that. <laughs> you no, could do that I, at Atlanta no. Airport. Yo, I, I don't got a ticket. I would, I would get There's only a bathroom band. over yeah. here. <laughs> With mirrors. I can get it popping. <laughs> you know, when you land at JFK, even if you have a way home, there's all those drivers there. It's like, yo, where you going? You need a ride? Need, need yeah. somewhere to go? Mm-hmm. Got you for the cheap. That's what dick is. That's what I'd be doing. That, that's the girl. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm yours. This. <laughs> you I'm yours. This? You want this? <laughs> yours. I, I can be with you it's for the night. It's nice to meet you. I'm yours. I can be with you for the night. Yeah. But do you have tickets to New York? That's that's crazy. Mm. And I've definitely seen women steal money in the strip club when they weren't strippers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From under I'm my s- foot. <laughs> <laughs> Move. I'm, I'm stepping on this get, for a reason. Why are you under me? It's only $4. <laughs> Can you get the <laughs> fuck from underneath me? <laughs> yeah, she could have done that to get home. Go to um, Follies and, and let it go crazy. Quickly, though, I saw that Fab was present during the All-Star Day. Oh, How many bars do you think Fab, Fab wrote in his head about, the, uh, about OB Toppin? <laughs> How many fab Obi Toppin bars happened during that dunk contest? Did he have the logo hat? Probably. I had a I have a hilarious joke. I can't say. Pussy. Yeah. I know. That's my man. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man. What do you want me to do? Oh, and don't let Fab get the scheme of kissing the rim with the Obi Toppin. <sighs> fab gonna give y'all a freestyle soon. <laughs> I know he not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he not. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Don't tell him all. <laughs> he heard it. He listened to the show. Man, if y'all think Fab is allowed to give you an Obi Toppin metaphor like he used to, I'm <laughs> David. Can't ain't get no, that off. Ain't no topping nothing. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no nobody's topping anything. But now he'll flipping into some uh, ice cream sundae type yeah, of family yeah. outing type of thing. So I posted. <laughs> so before All Star, uh, the All Star game, I posted some old clips of uh, me and the fellas playing, shooting some hoops. For the, so the internet could get a good laugh. Of course, Fab was under there getting a good laugh. And Fab, you saw the two free throws he had, ball? No, Fab. Oh my God, he had to take some of that. He jury. wasn't playing though, right? No, it was like a little competition. He had to, he took two free throws. I think you can't right ball free throw. Yeah, he walked he out there on halftime. So much for fabulous sport. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah. Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. Well, who, all, who, that, all that jewelry. I, I don't yeah, know who's shooting this. On. I don't know who the camera guy is. Looking a lot like the Triller Jake Logan fight. You're not wrong at all, I actually. I don't know if if I'm bugging here, but that's how it looks. We shot someone. Oh, come on, Fab. Come <laughs> on, Fab. That's not right, Fab. That was, that was for... That was top of the key, though. But listen, now, you, free throw. you know what I never thought of? You can't airball from the you top shouldn't of the airball. Key. And this is, twice. This is Wednesday. I should, even, I should be talking about something way more important than this. The no, same way the game has evolved, like, in the league, it's mm-hmm. evolved on the streets. Oh, yeah. Like, the kids are now... Taking step back threes, doing all this type of they, they they doing what they see. I'm out there jump hooking still. No, <laughs> nah, the, the game has trying to, trying to the play game the game has changed. <laughs> that jump hook ain't elbow in the paint. I mean, jump yeah, hook. That, that jump hook ain't gonna get it. It's no still way. a still scores. So yeah, that, yeah, but it's you gonna have to get another two points. You gotta get a B move. Yeah, you gotta get a B move. I got a B move. Don't do that. Okay, well, hey, get away from that jump hook. Listen, when it's nice on Patreon, we're gonna go shoot some hoops. Absolutely, I can't wait. Listen, I mean, you and I during this pickup game did I? You think we could take a? Jack Harlow and Quavo? Yes. I don't think yes, so. Yes, I do. 
I don't think so. We're, 1, we're, we're, we're scrappy players. Quavo, you're going to get fouled. Quavo's That's going to yeah. happen. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't see nobody getting, put a body on him. Yeah, you're getting fouled. <laughs> yeah. You're not getting 17 on me. You're getting the elbow to the fucking side. <laughs> Look at Joe. <laughs> oh. Look at Joe back at oh. Joe. Oh, I like <laughs> Off the glass. That's textbook. You can't teach that. That was on I mean, the right can, shoulder. But... What they going to do when you jump hook over the right shoulder? <laughs> they ain't ready for that. Oh, let me set this pick. Uh, this, uh-huh. this is the wildest right here, screen right. in history. Right oh, you yeah, ain't want the right. You want that the leg swing. <laughs> you, you want the other leg one. Swing. That <laughs> leg sweep. That leg sweep. Oh, hey, that leg a, sweep. Oh, pardon me because of my age. Yeah. You know what I mean? Quick belt. Uh, yeah. Quick <laughs> belt. <laughs> quick belt. To the ribs. Quick offensive foul. To the ribs. Now you got a decision to make. Play better D or fight me. <laughs> Yo, why am I why am I low lights being shown right now? Hey, you posted them. No, nah, this is a highlight. Listen, Miss layup, man. rebound, put it back. Listen, yeah, that's a highlight. Well, what y'all want me to do? No, nah, that's basketball IQ right there. Yeah, come on, the court court vision, crazy. All right, let's get right into it, man. Uh, Oprah interview with Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, Markel. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Uh, tea was spilled. Uh, it said that. Oprah was paid somewhere between seven and nine million to license this interview. It's also said that Meghan and Prince Harry were paid absolutely nothing. Uh, And in this interview, the T was Meghan says that in the months when I was pregnant, we have in tandem the conversation of he won't be given security. He's not going to be given a title and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. Harry said it was not a conversation he ever wanted to discuss. Megan said she had a clear and real and frightening thought about suicide while she was a working member of the royal family. Harry said she did not receive any support from the royal family over her mental health, saying it was not a conversation to be had. End quote. End story. Um, assuming that you gentlemen have either seen the interview or seen highlights from it. So highlights. I didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah, same. same. Because I honestly, I, this is going to sound insensitive. I don't care. I mean, I feel for Megan. I really do. I really, really do. And I mean that genuinely. I think that's horrible. And I think this happens in a lot of families in general <clears throat> when it comes to interracial dating or things of that nature. But this family is a shitty fucking family. Rich, Nothing about this is surprising to Europe. me. This is, this is the family that has the bloodline that ruined this world. I don't care. I don't. They're horrible fucking people, and that's how it's going to be. There's no, there's nothing shocking here. I think it's cool that Harry left them. I think that's dope on a moral level, but I'm not saying he's brave. He fucking still has his mom's inheritance. He can still do that. There's way more problems in the world than what the royal family has already done to this world. <laughs> okay, I like that. I mean, fuckers don't have health insurance. You think I want to watch an Oprah interview about the royal fucking family? Yeah, no. I, this is definitely <laughs> I'm just not being my honest. Type of shit. Like I know this has become a thing. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. I didn't care. About yes, it Megan went into one of the worst families in the history of the world. <laughs> yes, I'm yes. A, I hope her mental health is 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 of is, course. Is in, is I, I no, I care. Like I that. care yeah. there. I'm just then, saying then that, that. Then that's care. If you to, care, to, if, to you make care it, there, if you care there, then that is care. Yes, but to make this uh, a number one priority in the world is just, I, fam, these are the worst people ever. Who can, I understand like, what you're saying. Like, everybody well, in a hoopla well, over there. Let's the just interview. make it clear, because he's taking a bold yeah, no, we, I hope I hope Megan and, uh, and and Harry and the baby are great and fine. Everyone's Y'all in great health. Y'all care about that. Yeah, yeah, Y'all do. That, as yeah. a person. I think, yeah. And, I, and I, think it's, I think it's dope that Harry took that stance, but I'm not going to give Prince Harry all this fucking credit that he made all these crazy moves. You, you've never had a job. You can make that move when you have the inheritance of an Illuminati level of money. F- like fuck out of here. It would be cool. Than I think Illuminati. that's <laughs> yes. I think that's dope that you did that for your wife and that you stood on that stance. You said fuck your family when they ain't. That was honorable. Right. That's some real honorable course, shit. I honorable. love that. Yeah. I think that's amazing. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna sit here and give him all these fuck. Oh my god. Wow. What a brave, brave thing to do. I'm not going to argue with, with Rory. He's they're think, all, the, both of them are going to be fine. Good that, points. I do feel like that's a contradiction. <laughs> they're, they're both going to be fine. No, I just know people that have real fucking problems. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, I get it. <laughs> Sorry, I know people what, that have real fucking problems. All right, we got Rory. Rory just barred it up. I, don't, I got nothing. 
Yeah, Dude. I felt I felt the same way. I didn't rush to see the interview. I I still have my reservations about just watching and supporting anything Oprah. Mm. Um, but you know, I, I watched the highlights and I understood what it was. But I wasn't so shocked. You know, people were shocked that they were concerned about the skin tone of the baby, and I'm like, they're con- still concerned about my skin tone, and I'm a grown man in America where I'm from. So, you know, I didn't I didn't think that the royal family would be accepting of a a brown skin baby in their kingdom. No, I didn't think so. But that wasn't news to me. You know what I mean? I and hearing her say she, you know, had suicidal thoughts and all of that, that was like, damn, you know, I'm, of course. And you, and you care about that. No, of that one hundred percent. I was and, like, damn, you I'm, all I care about that. Yeah, yeah, no, of, of, of course. course. I, I just I'm just not shocked that the bloodline that slaughtered the Native Americans is shocked that uh their baby would be dark skinned when she's not even a dark skinned woman. Yeah. They're ignorant fucking people that have had control on this world. The same way we talk about Duke when we say, if we would just shut the fuck up about them, yeah. maybe some of the power would go away. Of course, way different circumstances. Yeah. But the the power that we give them in this family, and it's not even our fucking country, yeah. is insane to me. I agree. Oprah, go fucking interview Biden. Hmm. So you can say, I come don't on, care man. about this. I don't <laughs> care. Come on, man. I don't at all. I don't care about this. Okay. Yeah, I, don't care. I know I people I without health insurance. insurance. I, I care don't about insurance. care about this. You guys are such men. <laughs> no, it's, no, that's bars. That, that's not man shit. You know, it's that is man shit because there are some aspects of this that you do care about. Of course. Okay. So, yeah. so, 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 so fundamental, I'm, I'm, the fundamental uh, uh, experience that she had is is terrible. Awful. All right, stop, 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 stop. All right, two seconds, just two seconds. Let mm-hmm. me try to get my thoughts together. I didn't know Rory was coming in so hot. <laughs> we have Megan Markel doing a sit-down interview to speak about something that the average consumer knows nothing about, which is the role that the media plays in our mental health and us wanting to end it and just a plethora of things, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm a mental health guy. You've got me there. Mm-hmm. That is important. I've, I've admitted me. admitted on this podcast of of having extremely similar feelings that this woman has had. That feeling for me is magnified when you throw in Princess Diana's bout with media mm-hmm. and the role they played in everything. Princess Diana, I won't begin to speculate, but there are rumors about her demise and how it happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even if you're not going off the rumors, the documented story of the me- role the media played in her demise amplifies this story more and more for me. Three, watching this, right, Megan, it brought me back to uh, that Princess Diana interview. Where she was basically I've, I've, saying I've the same it. thing for the people that are unaware. I'll try to find uh, just a piece so I can play it right because it, it brought me right back to that. That deja vu was a little weird. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Many people, I mean, the establishment that I'm married into, because they've decided that I'm a non starter interview from a million years ago princess diana talking about her experience within the because i do things different establishment oh what happened i'm sorry because i don't go by a rule book because i lead from the heart not the head and albeit that's got me into trouble in my work i understand that but someone's got to go out there and love people and show it and do you think that because of the way you behave that's precluded you effectively from becoming queen yes i well not precluded me i wouldn't say that um i just don't think i have as many supporters in that environment than i did i don't have as many supporters in that environment as i once did Mm -hmm. you mean the royal house yes i'm just reading the subtitles as they come up threat of some kind this is eerily similar to the interview that i watched with i I I agree with you i've I've watched this interview with with the young lady right well i think that's what rory is saying three it shouldn't be a surprise this is, this is how they are. The things that I'm this saying is, are not speaking the, the, to the anything worst being a surprise ever. for anybody. Okay. That part is well known and well documented. The stuff I'm saying is just human feelings. I'm not talking about mm-hmm. the, the uh, racism in a foundation that's race that's racist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. L- literally, 
England got, has got wreaked that, havoc got that part. on the base I'm of only, racism. I'm only looking at through this through the eternity. eyes of awesome. I'm only looking at this through the eyes of Princess Prince Harry, who I who me and my family or anybody that's ever taught me about him never painted him to be one of them. Really, he always looked different. He always moved different. It was a different sauce. It was a different swag. If you if you grew up, you know he wasn't like his brother. It looked he awesome. was he was in, he was in the streets and by in the streets. I mean he was out in these you clubs wilding. New, new Princess Diana wasn't really with the regime. Mm-hmm. Mm. You was gonna watch him growing up. So I'm not looking through those eyes. I'm looking through the eyes of this young lady who we all watched in suits, met a dude, fell in love, and that's it. It's mm. not a whole. It's not a. It's not a whole lot of extras when you fall in love with somebody. I love you, and this is what we're doing. How they handled it, how both of them handled it, which was a big thing on whatever the the, uh, morning show over there is. That was the big discrepancy is, hey, they're talking about the media, but the media on their wedding day was awesome. And the young lady was saying, yeah, but the media up until that was horrific. Mm -hmm. The media after that was horrific. So I'm looking at it through those eyes, Mm -hmm. and I commend them for – how they handled it, what they had to go up against, because I don't imagine it to be easy for Prince Harry to tell his whole royal family, yo, suck my dick, I'm out. I don't imagine it for him to be easy to fight that fight on the strength of his significant other. Like, I just imagine it to be really difficult. Yeah, I don't care that the family's racist. To Rory's point, we knew that already. Mm -hmm. But I certainly care about, about, about how they're treating this essentially a uh, white passing woman because she could pass for white. She mm-hmm. could. And and now this is turning into a color a colorism conversation as it goes on. But she can pass for white and they still said, hey, how that baby coming out? Mm-hmm. Like so Which Yeah, Rory Which which speaking Rory, from, from a let white me just person. Get this out. I, so this Rory can point. feel that way. But for us, whoa. You taking this white lady and you questioning the little bit of black that this baby could come out with? Mm-hmm. Stark, Stark reminded that it don't matter how light you are. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. the point I was gonna make. That's how deep racism is. So okay. if so, if I care you about could, that, you could and look, I, and I you do. could look like a white person, but if you have any type of shit that isn't white, that's how deep this shit go. Mm-hmm. And if I care about those things, which I do then I care about how it affects people that aren't attached to the establishment, which today would be. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying I don't care about that. That I care about. Well, that's why this I keep is interrupting a, you because when you say, yo, I don't care about shit, like, it's blanket. This this and, is a, a story that happens with so many people, not just in the United States, in the entire world. Tell me why that family is royal. Like, I could take it way deeper to why this should not fucking matter. It matters the topic that we're talking about. Where a family would look at someone that may date someone outside another race and feel away and treat her shitty. Mm-hmm. That's something I care about all day. Right. The fact that it's we're making a story for them, for this family, is my issue. That's why I don't care. Fuck this family. Go figure out why they're the royal family. Right. Go research. I get it. Fuck them. Fuck them. Let's not talk about it. I'm not mad at that. I'm Leave it the that. fuck alone. We could talk about the issue all day. I'm with you. But they're not the only people that go through this. I'm glad it could be highlighted that this is a thing. But we all know this is a thing. But I didn't need Oprah to tell me this is a thing. I know it's a thing. This family is the worst family ever. Fuck them. Stop talking about them. But in speaking about the issue, I'm not really speaking about the family. That's No, no. They're talking about the family. You and I right now are talking I'm about talking the issue. I'm talking about Harry and Meghan for me. You and I are talking about the and, issue. And racism. This and whole thing. Maybe had you just said. You just said Oprah. Exalting. You just said Oprah made seven million off this. It's not this is about concern, the family. Yeah. It ain't about the issue. You think Oprah's making seven million talking about this issue or talking about this family? It's definitely the family. <laughs> oh, but Oprah seven million is is, is, just, is, the, le- is the least of my concerns. The- <laughs> no, but what Rory is saying. Concerns. What Rory is saying is it goes back to because it's about the family. It's about the family. This has nothing to do with the real issue. Not it's about me. the family. Okay, I well, understand what he's saying, mm-hmm. and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, offer him pushback on his stance on his family. Mm-hmm. That's, come on, right. I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. But before this story ever existed, I had empathy for Britney Spears when we watched that. Doc. Sure, mm-hmm. so lie. Mm-hmm. Od, I can't. Yeah. I, 
I can't be the guy that's, that has empathy for Britney Spears for what she went through with the media mm-hmm. and then turn around and hear this story. If this had nothing to do with royalty, Maul, mm-hmm. if, it were, if it were Joe and my mom died because paparazzi was chasing her mm-hmm. and then I had an issue with paparazzi and I brought it to my unroyal mom and dad or unroyal family and they had an adverse reaction to it, it's beef. Mm-hmm. Forget royalty. Forget mm-hmm. racism. I'm putting me in the shoes of Dan, that's nuts, 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 so, nuts, nuts, nuts. Yeah, no, for sure so it is. I'm, I'm separate. Like, and it. some of us that's rocked with doing. Princess it's... Diana differently. Rocked with me, and we could tell she was a little different. Mm-hmm. She was a, a hippie for by so those to standards. Watch that, <laughs> and and then twenty years, thirty, how many years later, you see your kid go through the same exact thing with media, and your family do absolutely nothing to stop it from a humanity standpoint. I feel for that. I don't care about Oprah here. I don't care about what she got paid. I don't care about none of that. Listen, as as much lesser dudes, I've had to save, allegedly save my girl from shit that was much softer than this. And it was tough. Mm-hmm. We've all been in a bind where our girl felt the way about something and we had to stand up. Mm-hmm. I cannot imagine being in this position. That's the only reason that I throw the royal family in there. And, sure. Because, wow, what a lot to resist against. That's it. Okay, so you're not separating them, and that's where our difference is. I separate my empathy for Megan. I I really do have empathy for it. I can only have empathy. I don't understand it. I can just try to sympathize Mm -hmm. with what's going on. I can separate that to see the spectacle that's going on in the sense that I don't think anyone cares about the real issue. They're making a spectacle because of who it is. Side note, the way this quote unquote Kim and Kanye divorce is gone, I thought they've handled amazing. I want to They've push made back no on that. spectacle about it. Like But it's I, let me just offer this. Because it's there's own, there's real only, issues. Divorce is a real issue. What they're going through, a lot of people go through all the time when it comes to interracial dating. It's not a spectacle to make money off of. Like when you starting with the seven million with the Oprah shit, that's what bothers me. And it bothers me because I know the family is fucked up. So, yes, I sit here and love what Megan is going through in uh, bringing attention to that ordeal. That I love that that is trying to be highlighted, but it's not. They're mm-hmm. doing this for bread. See, it's the royal fucking family. I love that this well, idea could be brought up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's have some tact here. <clears throat> Who is doing that for bread? Megan and Harry? No. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. God, no. Okay. No, no, no. No, of course not. Oprah. Let's Oprah. Agreed. Okay. NBC. <laughs> Everything Agreed. that is done around the royal family has been for bread recently. I don't know if y'all have been paying attention to what they've been doing. <laughs> it's bread. It's all bread. It's nasty. Okay, I'm following you. Which there. is why I support them for leaving for it. I just I you not but this it's just is, not a, a, a main why, thing for me. I don't, why this I is don't getting care. So, but why this is such a big deal and why this is getting so much attention is because of the position that uh, Harry and Meghan took. Yeah, and we, I love, yeah, I love wait, them wait, for taking it. Yeah, we know the family That's fire they took that Yeah, we know this is the worst family in the world. Been on it like this for years. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. We've been knowing that. We've never seen anybody pick up and say, you know what? I'm out. I'm going to escape this racism by going to America. <laughs> like, no, we've which, never seen it. Which, which is, by the which way, is ass, ironic and hilarious. Which is ass backwards. backwards. Yeah, not which escaping is, it. Which is Canada, ass backwards. Canada, it's, it's, you know, it's Canada still, has racism. racism in Canada. I'm not denying that. But I'm just saying, we, ne- we have never seen that bold uh, a stance mm-hmm. from people that were active members. So we thought of A, not them, but any royal family. So that's why it's news. I guess and that's why these people are fucking mongering toward the story. I guess my outrage comes to the value of the royal family and why this matters more. Because their stance was amazing and I'm glad they did it. And yes, it shows everyone that through hundreds of years with this family, I can leave it. But my issue is with the structure of that and the value that we're putting on the royal family. And the value we put on England, I'm not trying to shit on England, but the way England has ruined this whole entire world, we value this royal family that's not even really the government in there anymore. Right. Why is this a thing? Fuck that family. (laughs) 
So Agreed. we should stop valuing this. That's I guess that's my overall point. Stop yeah. valuing this family. I agree, I agree. Um, but definitely, you know, we 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 have fame em- is, em- is empathy insane. with Harry, Meghan, of course, and, and their of course, child. of course, of course. Um, and I'm yeah, sure I'm sure I've sound nuts on here. I'm sure I'm gonna get killed, but no, nah, I think you actually think you sound nuts. Listen, I, 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 I think you sound nuts. Ireland, I think, I think Ireland has been trying to. T- I think you just fighting an independent point. I don't think you sound nuts and saying fuck I, I, the family. I, I think I sound nuts, but I'm just an Irish person that has hated England forever in my household. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been trying to tell y'all England's been shitty forever. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe I'm just taking it out on y'all. <laughs> no, but, but but what you're saying is real, though. It's, it's, I got, you know fam- the family, I got family that's still so fucking with North it's not, Ireland. <laughs> it's not a thing of... I, I just didn't like, you know, people acting like this was such a shocker. That's what I was looking at. Yeah, Everybody but I don't like the women. Like, I don't like the women online. Women in particular that are saying, I'm not... I'm, I have no empathy for Megan because you knew the family you was marrying into when you fell for Duke. Well, that's, that's, not, that's not fair. That's not fair. That's, that's not fair. nasty. That's not, that's, not, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. No. Okay. You can't. can't you that. can not be surprised that her family met her with that energy, but you right. can't. If you fall in love with dude, right. I'm not falling in love with your family. I love you. Right. Yeah. That's no. That's not fair. That's yeah. not fair at all. Uh, and we have a statement issued by Buckingham Palace on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. And I think it's important to note that Oprah did follow up and say that it wasn't the queen who allegedly made the statements or the questions yeah, about uh, Archie. So this says the whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging. Oh, the whole family is saddened to learn. <laughs> the full, we Ironic. Moved, we moved and can't get away from the ambulance. <laughs> The whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Harry, Meghan, and Archie will always be much-loved family members. The end. Ends. Oh, Ends. thanks. Well, thank God we got a statement. <laughs> Cleared everything up. <laughs> hey, man, that's why we whooped their ass in that war, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, then then they became our ally again. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Piers Morgan uh, walked off set. A good morning, Britain. I, I have a confession to make. I didn't hear it, so I'm asking y'all what happened. There's well, another Piers. This dope, right? It's not There's Piers Brockman. It's not Piers Morgan. What's Pierce, the other Piers? That's Pierce Brock. Pierce, Pierce Who's the Brosnan. dope one? Pierce Brosnan. Brosnan. Yeah, that's an actor. He's when an actor. I hear Pierce, he pops up and he's great looking, fly. He's and then it's like some, or something. And yeah. it's like some doofy shit that Pierce Morgan does. And I'm like, all right, wait, this is not my cool guy. <laughs> They're not like. Pierce. It's a shot. It's a shot, Yo. man. I like that. It's a shot. <laughs> that was kind of hard. I ain't gonna lie. It's I a like shot. It. it was a good one. Yeah, I like it. That was kind of hard. <laughs> It's a shot, man. That was kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah. was kind of hard. That was hard. Okay. Did what he did, lie? What, what did, just tell me. What, <laughs> what, did the guy, what did the guy do? He walked off the set, right, because he was being impressed about, about yeah, his, uh, his commentary on the whole matter. Yeah. Because he's been repping for the family and saying they're not racist and Harry and Meg should shut but, the fuck up. But Pierce Morgan is racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The racist trying to tell other racists they're not racist. <laughs> I think that's usually how it goes. Aren't you about to call him? Plugged in? <laughs> no, I'm not going to call him. But they, they, and that's why I love the internet. They found a clip of uh, uh, Pierce Morgan saying he went out went out on a date with Megan and got curved. And and that's why that's why the commentary has oh, been that's so fine. foul. Yeah. We had a two hours in the pub. She had a couple of dirty martinis and a couple of pints. We got on brilliantly. And then I put her in a cab, and it turned out to be a cab so that Diana. took her to a party where she met Prince Harry. And then the next night, they had oh, a solo God, bullshit, dinner together, man. and that was the last I ever heard from Meghan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have never heard from her That's again. Good. Good. So what happened? In your, uh, she ghosted me, Ryan. Nah, maybe it's Meghan not Markle cap, ghosted me. Did she, do you think she, she just hit on a girl that God, didn't I'm afraid want him? I, and then, I really liked her. This is what She took a cab and met her husband. I really liked her. Yeah, I don't know if that's Cap. He really liked her. I bet he did. He she, put her she, in the she, cab. She, she, she met Princess Harry. Uh, Princess Prince Harry, mm-hmm. and never spoke to him again. And now he's killing, killing, killing in the commentary. 
Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. He stormed off when they pressed him. Get him the fuck off the set. Good. Don't need to hear from him anymore. Well, can I ask? What, how did they press him? What, what were the questions? I didn't see this part. I just saw the. This is shit. day two. Uh, so yesterday they had a panel on. And the panel disagreed with everything he had to say about the whole ordeal. And they pressed him on it. Uh, in particular, uh, uh, a lady who was just grilling him. I have it here somewhere, but she was like, she said, fam, you're, you're contradictory. You're highlighting some stuff. You're leaving out the other stuff. The family is racist. This is what they did. This is what y'all did. And y'all okay with it. The media is still continuing to do this. Of course. So this was day two. And you could kind of feel it. This was the start of the show where... They're right back on that topic. I imagine this to be a big deal over there. And for sure. And and they had a brother That's on and, and and the brother didn't care that, you know, he didn't care that that was Pierce. Yeah, he got his shit off. And Pierce walked off. And announced that he's leaving the show. Is that true? He's leaving the show? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna miss him every oh, morning man. while I'm watching the uh BBC <laughs> or whatever this is on. You watch BBC's uh, well, every morning? I do not. Oh. On Tuesday, Morgan <laughs> no, faced yeah. criticism. BBC's actually all right. Yeah, BBC. It's, it's actually, actually more of the objective news you can watch. Yeah. On Tuesday, Morgan faced criticism I'm dead ass. Uh, no, from no, his own right. colleague. No, you're right. You're yeah, right. Uh, one of the more. Go ahead. Before I say you're dead ass right, we need to look into the origin of the BBC as well. I, I, <laughs> that, I under, that I won't argue. I under, don't, right. don't Google it. And I, <laughs> don't Google BBC. Please. Under, <laughs> I understand that you, Morgan, don't like Meghan Markle. You've made it clear a number of times in this program. Uh, said Good Morning Britain co-host Alex Beresford. And I understand that you've got a personal relationship with Meghan Markle or had one and she cut you off, he added. Has she said anything about you since she cut you off? I don't think she has, but yet you continue to trash her. At that point, Morgan got up and while walking off set said, okay, I'm done with this. Sorry. No, sorry. See you later. Sorry. Can't do this. Mm -hmm. And that's that on that. He walked out. Nah, 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 nah. Cry, baby. Whatever, man. Yeah. And that's that. Oh well, prayers again to prayers Harry, everyone involved. Harry, I don't Megan, think Megan said anything about Pierce Morgan. Son. Has Megan said anything about anybody? No, <laughs> like up until this point, no. And Shorty, they, Shorty, been quiet, minding her business. Yeah. <laughs> and they still didn't press Duke. Uh, I'm saying Duke, but he might. He really might be, be a Duke. Duke. <laughs> he might be a Duke. <laughs> <laughs> might be the Duke of York. Hey, yeah. they still didn't press uh, Duke of York about his yeah, role in, in any of the. Uh, what's my man's name? That's not your man. It's not definitely my man. not your the, man. The Jeffrey Epstein uh, uh, debacle. We never heard from Andrew, any of those. Andrew is that. a nasty fuck. From no. look at his face. His whole family looks nuts. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Are they inbred? Of course. Well, there you go. Look, all right, guys, just do your research on the royal family. <laughs> and, find, dis- and find Woody disgusting. Allen. It's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. Find Woody Allen and arrest him. He will, won't go to the Nick game. They looking good, too, ain't they, Joe? He will he not will come not see the boys, <laughs> right? <laughs> Used to be at all the games. Ain't, all the ain't games. seen Spike yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nowhere. That damn Woody Allen, man. On another episode, I'm going to talk about how sick some of the dudes, I'm, I won't call them white crimes, but I feel like white people birthed them. <laughs> I imagine. We brought them to the table. They would have never let one of us do that Woody Allen shit back in the 1700s or whenever. Whenever that came up, they would have killed us. That was like the 90s. <laughs> no, not no, not the Woody Allen shit. The, oh. the birth of the, that oh, crime. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, they'd have killed our asses. Yeah. I'm rushing home to watch uh, episode three of Allen versus Farrell. Oh, you didn't watch three yet? No, no, no. Okay. No, I didn't, I didn't see it. It's all. a disgusting watch. Well, it's give, it's, give it's the tough to watch. Story. It is. It's tough to watch. It is. Period. Episode two was real tough for me, and my mom warned me about episode two. And it was still tough to watch. You said what, uh, Rory? Just give backstory of somewhat of what happens in it. Woody I don't Allen, think everyone knows. Woody that. Allen is a nasty, nasty man. Who uh, Woody Allen married Mia Farrow, uh, another really famous actress. Uh, she was adopting kids and they had some kids and Woody Allen was hitting on the kids and fondling the kids and marrying marrying the kids and molesting the kids and raping the kids and somehow he's not underneath the jail I don't think he's not underneath the jail and he's not in Bali to our knowledge to our knowledge to our knowledge 
And my question becomes, fam- like, why is he allowed to steal? That whole family shit is... In- Google the whole family while you're watching this shit, because there's... You were telling like, me some interesting stuff about it. Please. Yeah, like her... Apparently, Mia Farrow's brother, not that this is directly related, but it's interesting, is her brother was arrested for child molestation. Mm-hmm. That's interesting And to know. one of her sons, in the film, they talk about... Um, he was... You know, him and Woody were like... He looked up to Woody... A million percent, that's my father, I love him, da da da, I followed him everywhere type shit. Mm-hmm. When the allegations came out, or maybe when it was the Sunni marriage thing came out, he said, I hate you, you disappointed me, blah, blah, blah. I disown you as my father type of thing. Yeah. Now, years later, is a therapist for adopted children and says that Mia was abusing and making them, there was some sexual shit in there, making them be naked or something. And that now he he was wrong about saying all that shit about Woody, and he believes Woody, and Woody didn't do this shit. Mm. I don't know what the fuck to believe. Two kids say that he's nasty. Two kids say that he's cool. And several of the other adopted children are dead now. Mm. It's fucking weird. I'm not. I'm not rolling. Woody's cool. I know he's not. He's definitely not cool. He married his stepdaughter. That's fucking weird. Yeah. You're not cool. Yeah. No matter how you slice it, you're not cool. It's more. It's, it's more interesting things behind this, is what you're saying. I'm gonna wait to watch it. Watch it, this m- in its entirety. Maybe. But yeah. from what they've showed so far, and again, I've only seen two episodes. Boy, is is Mia Farrow complicit in this, bro? I'm not gonna say that because I can't put myself in her shoes to know what she was dealing with or battling with having that type of husband or man in the house. But I can't imagine a situation in which. You walk and in on your spouse doing inappropriate things with your children on more than one occasion, mm-hmm. and continue to have mm-hmm. a relationship, mm-hmm. to not or have, allow them access to your children on any level, or to not kill them. I mean, yes, on another level, right? <laughs> but you can see it when you watch it. But you can see it when you watch it. You get you get how power comes into play. But yeah, no doubt. The thing mm. is, the thing about that angle. That I find interesting, at least, is that she wasn't not powerful. She came from a family of Hollywood actors and filmmakers, and she was a prominent actor before she met Mm -hmm. Woody. I don't have children, but I don't think power is going to matter to me. In episode one, I want to say that. Well, I'm sorry. We're going. And let me just be clear. Uh, Woody Allen is a nasty man, no matter how you slice it, because he married his fucking stepdaughter. in episode one, she was speaking to the fact that, yes, she had some gigs, but she always felt like she wouldn't have had anywhere near the career that she did without him and without him casting her in these roles. I think they went on a run uh, when they were married to like 13 straight. movies yeah, yeah. straight, which was unheard of. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, she might have had a career, but let's talk. I'm talking about how she felt about that career and sustaining it long term. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know if she felt the greatest about it. And, Maybe and, not. And, I don't and, know. I'm, and I'm saying that's not an excuse. Power's not an excuse when it comes to protecting your children. I don't have children, but yeah. Did I just protect your kids? Fuck your career. That whole family is <laughs> very strange and weird, and I don't know what the fuck's going on over there. It's what I've come away with. Granted, we still, I think, I don't know how many episodes it is. We're only through three. Mm-hmm. There's still more to learn. There's a lot of weird shit happening over there. Do you believe in human sacrifice? Mm-hmm. Do you believe it's a thing somewhere? Yeah, no, I think it's an active I thing that, that happens very so. often, yeah. Do we know who started that? I think it's been around since the dawn of time, damn near. Yeah, I think that goes along with uh, the people that actually run this country. And and I'm not trying to go back to the royal family shit, but yeah, I think it all goes back to that. We don't need to. I'm only bringing it up to say, if you if you believe in in that, uh, believe in it, how it, could it, you hold, say? Hold on, let, let's, because people are... Believe, Wait, some, believe some of our, it as in know Some it of our exist. listeners are stupid. Yes. I believe it exists. Yes. I don't believe in doing it. <laughs> of course not. But if you believe it. <laughs> just want to make, make that clear. Up on your free time? <laughs> but if you believe it to exist, and then we have this story here, where you have this powerful man marries into family with mad kids, and now he's doing what he's doing, being a nasty man in there, but uh, uh, dangling opportunities over the mom yeah, you could say that she's complicit, but couldn't you understand how one could end up complicit in that? <laughs> if you that, believe in human well, sacrifice. She, well, she said... Well, uh, no, I'm, I'm not saying it couldn't exist in what she did 
with everything. Oh, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying fuck out of here. Oh, Protect okay. your children. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I have no argument. <laughs> <for me. laughs> that's all I'm saying. No she's argument for me. Adopting more children. Granted, all I was know, saying, like protect your kids. That, but it's, 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 shit is fucking weird, man. It's weird. It's, it's some weird, it's rich, a, white Hollywood elite shit. It's not shit. your normal optic. It's definitely yeah. like you look at it and you like. It's a tough watch. Yeah, it is. It is a tough watch. You got to have the stomach for it. They're and adopting these poor children from Vietnam with you know uh, physical disabilities, blind children, handicapped children, and all this crazy, nasty shits going on. I don't. This is fucking weird. We're, man. we're saying it's it's not normal, but anytime it comes to elitists and people in certain positions, it seems to be a pattern. Mm-hmm. And of, of course, I live with we should know the evidence of things, but I also am subscribe to if it continues to be talked about all the time amongst every single elite person maybe there's some truth we should look into at least right and it seems to be a thing and i don't want to like once i find the naked pictures of my kid in your crib you're dying you're dead lights out (laughs) yeah Yeah. it's not a Lights out, niggas. Jigga. <laughs> yeah. What's my motherfucking name? And that it's was like it's the sixth oh, that's what I'm in the timeline. That wasn't even like right. the beginning. <laughs> mm-hmm. He was why. sucking her. She was. He was making the kids suck the thumbs and laying in bed naked and all this shit. What the fuck do you mean it got all the way to this? Yeah, nah. It's crazy. I'm. This shit is weirdo shit. That is some weird, nasty shit going on over there. I, j- I just think it's a, a little more common than we make it seem. Maybe. I don't wanna, that's the I problem. Don't wanna, I don't want to uh, tread the QAnon waters, but... Wait, what's he saying is common? And I, I, I don't subscribe to QAnon. I've, I've made those those jokes of QAnon on this podcast a lot. But do I, do I think that there's some validity to that? Sure. Sure. I don't know what y'all talking about. Oh, so QAnon, the, the underlying... Um, I guess theme is that there are uh, elite Hollywood or rich people that eat children. The the deep state kind of thrives oh, of and lives off children. Correct. And again, I live in the, the evidence world. I'm not going to put anything on anyone, but it seems to be a trend with every really powerful person. I'm not talking about celebrities. I'm talking about a real powerful p- right. fucking person. Right. It seems to be a, a thing. I'm not sure that I would lump Woody Allen in the real powerful person I'm not, category. No, no, I'm not. This ain't a Woody Allen thing I'm talking about. Yeah. This, is disgu- this is just some nasty fucking shit. This is shit. just some nasty weird I, shit. There's a, a theme. He was the Jeffrey rich, Epstein but he was world. Powerful. I'm not putting him with the royal nas- the nasties, but that's, that's, he was powerful. But he wasn't even at the time like uh, George Lucas. He wasn't making huge fucking crazy movies with Man, a billion dollars. No, he was he's doing. Just, he's a fucking molester and we know, rapist. We know, I had we a know couple party in my neighborhood that get some of this off. I was going to say, no, no. Like, we know yeah. people that aren't anywhere near as powerful as Woody Allen. Sure, that are nasty I, on a I had a, yeah, I had a molester sure, sure. on my block. <laughs> sure, like, this was a thing. I'm gonna go get him. I I think he's long gone. Okay. And it wasn't Father O'Neill for all your jokes. You didn't make sure. Huh? He didn't. He didn't catch me. He didn't. He didn't. Con- I was quick. I ran track. But you didn't confirm. <laughs> you that Roy didn't confirm he was off the block. I think he's gone. Let's not laugh at this. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Let's just get on out of here. No, you're, right. Go, you're right. You're right. Welcome to America. Joke. Yeah. I'm just saying some of these conversations, man. Like it's tough to have with my parents. It's like I know you love me a Pharaoh, but mm-hmm. I'm watching this and I'm like. It's my mind. It's the sound of my mind working. Mm. Mind is a machine. <laughs> mind is a machine. All your, right. your mind sounds trash. All right, you know what? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, two hours to go. <laughs> two hours We're to go. We're just getting started. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I know the sun is down when it, it's going to get lighter. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. Wait, what was that? What was that? Oh, we was talking about uh, Coming to America. Woody Allen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's come to America. Let's come to America. Podcast. Yeah, it'll be less racist there. All right, coming to America. Come on. Part two. We avoided it long enough. We here oh, now. No, coming hey. to America. Oh, didn't, we, didn't we talk oh, we did about that. it? No, no, no Rory. We did not talk about it. No, we, oh, okay. we, we talked about it amongst each other. It. We talked about it amongst each other, but we, we did. didn't. Oh, okay, that was it. We wanted people to have their weekend to see So y'all going to say it's trash or what? Oh, and before we get into coming to America, the couch... At Bridget and Mandy's podcast <laughs> is fucking phenomenal. I have no back problems. Couch. Yeah, I could lean back and chill. This everyone's like, look at his broad shoulders. Fam, I'm trying to keep my lower back from cracking in half from this mm. couch of seven years of this podcast. We take care of it. We'll take care of it. Don't worry Yo, just, can we just get a, a, a uh, couch? HR is going to take care. We're going to take care of it. Don't we're looking into it. 
Don't worry about it. We're investigating this. Uh, I mean, if we're going to stay here, I listened to the little pod on the way on the air on the flight. I mean, of course you did. It was me. I wasn't. You had no choice. Did you like it? Did you like what Rory had to offer to the ladies? Didn't really. Didn't really? Damn. I know. He was great. Oh. He was, and thank you. He was awesome. Of course. But I mean, he went on there talking about how pardon is not his passion. You know? I did, but I've, I've said that to you plenty of times. How you just, just hear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the plane feeling away. Okay. But I mean, not sure it was I mean, he, said, he said, yeah, thank you, Parks. outside of this pod. Yes, I said uh, creating a bunch of other podcasts to build a network was not my passion. Okay, okay. That makes a difference. That makes a world of a difference. Well, you know, well, you know Joe's going to change what you actually said. No, <laughs> no, he actually said, no, potting's not my passion. And then after that was finished and the girls looked at him like, hey, what, what, how could that be? He was like, no, 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 no. I don't mean us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't take a sip. No, you I know why? Because I don't, I, don't, I don't mean us. Rory doesn't look at this as guys. potting. This is kicking. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah. you yeah. guys are yeah. my passion. Uh, Aw. Thank you, guys. Man. Thank you. Not He's passionate about us, guys. We just happened to podcast got you my friends are my passion, are you passion Drake said, i always have my friends on my mind right are you passionate about alex too <laughs> but no but but you know what and real quick to end uh, Rory, shut the no one up, thought bro. that part was weird but before we end this because uh, a lot of fans again in in their new trend of shitting on joe for everything you that, is, the bag. that uh-huh. is one you no they, they've been said that are you a one, of the, one of the things that nah fuck them niggas but one, <laughs> of the, one of the things that they kill me for is Yo, anytime he's discussing good news, Rory and Maul look so sad. Like, why he don't th- start a pod with them? Why he don't just... We, he got we, a we, net- have, we have he a got pod. A ne- no, no. I have a network, so why don't I develop pods for you guys, you especially? And I never respond and say, do y'all know Rory has told me mad times he hates podcasting? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to do another podcast. He hates all other podcasters. No. Like, that's just not in his wheelhouse. <laughs> and you wouldn't say it, and I wouldn't say it, so I just keep getting killed, so I'm glad it's finally out there. Rory don't give a fuck about potting or you guys. <laughs> How did that get to that? <laughs> now, now that some of that heat can get off of me. <laughs> Jesus. Where were we? Coming to America. Two. Coming to Coming the number two to America. America. Hopefully, like, everyone has had a chance to see it by now. If not, spoiler alert! I'm sure we'll spoiler, spoiler alert. Some time stamp. Fast forward they, through it. They we were in America. We won't hold it against you. Now, I've been struggling to find ways around saying it's trash. Y'all are pussy. We love Eddie, but this wasn't it. I didn't hate it, man. I didn't hate it. Oh no, I wasn't trying to spare Eddie. <laughs> We've been talking to Amazon for like the last nine months about business. Oh, no. The production of it. <laughs> oh, listen. The, the platform. The release. It's such a community. Whoa, it's such a, oh, quality. my God, It's such man. a family over there. Man. It's, like it's like a family. family. It's like a family over there. It's like nah, family. Nah, for real. It's like extended Crystal family. clear audio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the mix. The it's mix. Ex- wow. It's extended wow. family. No, look at those there. graphics. Yeah, extended family. We've been talking Extended to Amazon family. for a while, right? Even if we weren't in business with them, they have all of our address and personal data, so we should be nice to them. But I mean, it's mad Amazon's. Amazon Studio, Amazon Music, Amazon Prime. It's mad Amazon. You don't want to get any of them mad. Because they'll come to your house. Because they uh, own the country. They sell your fucking data off. <laughs> Send mad. Specifically, boom! <laughs> Take that. You blow up. Like, what if Jeff Bezos was petty? Like, what if he just grabbed the walkie-talkie and to, to, to transmit to every Amazon driver? <laughs> hey, everyone, visit this address <laughs> every other 10 minutes. Drop all their cheap furniture. Just throw shit at the door. <laughs> just pull up and throw apples at the door. What would you do? Ah, Amazon! Yeah. I can kill you! They would win. Yeah. Listen. They would win. Now you got to talk to your fucking little gated community fucking desk office. Hey, don't let Amazon in anymore. You can't buy from Amazon. It's horrible. So do I want to go through all of that nah. for shitting on this movie? Of course. I want to return. Of course I do. <laughs> I want to return a package at the actual Amazon shit in Elizabeth, New Jersey, because it was easier. And there was no cars in the big ass parking lot. I walk in to drop the package off. Fifteen hundred people in the back. Look like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. I got a little nervous. I That's said, exactly. What why is there no cars in the parking lot? And this many people here. Yo, they live there. I'll ask you guys <laughs> That's again. What I was thinking. <laughs> I'll ask you guys again, because I've been asking for months. Who asked for this movie? No, the people definitely did. Which people? The people that were fans of Coming to America. Was I part of people? 
Uh, I'm, I'm pretty, a huge I'm pretty sure fan you would, of you wanted a sequel. Maybe not want it. now, but at one point, everybody did want to see nah. a sequel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer some pushback on that. I've heard Arsenio <laughs> and anybody else that did an interview say, "Yo, we all made a pact that we would never do a sequel." <laughs> I've heard, I've heard no, everybody no, no. say that. That may be true, but I'm just, I'm saying people so, did want to know what happened. That, I ain't damn sure didn't want a sequel. No, people definitely wanted to know what happened. All right, once cool. they got hey, married. Listen, I figured you would yeah. offer some of that. Yeah, I figured you, I figured you would push back on that. I have another point. For you, I got another point for you. Mm-hmm. If let's say who's a big, famous, respected rapper, Jay Z, mm-hmm. <laughs> never would have saw that coming. <laughs> if Jay Z starts calling up all the lesser accomplished rappers, mm-hmm. not to knock the other rappers, he's just so accomplished. Right. If he starts calling all the rappers to say, "Hey, I need a solid from you," I imagine them to do it without an invoice. I also imagine Eddie Murphy to be way bigger in comedy than Hove is to rap, if that's possible. Probably on the same level. Yeah. I'll go with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If Eddie Murphy calls all of the comedians that grew up to him. Which is all of them. And says, yo, I need you on this day at this time for something real quick. Come Especially through. for something like a classic. Like come this. through, come into America too. You know the vibes. I had exclusive game make all the outfits. Mm-hmm. Like we're rocking now. Shout out the exclusive game, and I don't think he made the outfits. Mm-hmm. Um, you're gonna do that without sending an invoice. So I read that Amazon paid 100 million dollars for the streaming rights to this. Hey, cool. There's streaming wars going on. Mad different platforms, streaming shit. You got to do what you got to do to keep audience on your shit, right? Mm-hmm. Watching this, where did it go? <laughs> Who got that hundred million? That's my next question to you. Mm-hmm. Not um, um. <laughs> I'm listening. Who got it? Bit of a rhetorical question. Let, well, uh, well, let me continue. <laughs> All right. Well, let me continue. Okay. We gave two million to Rick Ross to film in his house. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Ninety we, left. We filmed most of it. <laughs> In his house. (laughs) And when we left, we just had a studio. Mm -hmm. And I know that because I know what Jamaica Ave looks like. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it doesn't look like Los Angeles. And there's not a Fashion Nova store there. (laughs) No, no, there's not. So, hey, even the CGI with the lions, I thought that was a little cheap. I thought it was bad CGI. I've seen a realer lion. Yeah, sure. I've seen a a realer lion than that. And, and... I got crackheads right now that if I gave them a hundred million, they would have lions come perform for me. Mm-hmm. I, you think Easy. They, need they would rob the Bronx Zoo. It wouldn't be nobody <laughs> left in there. You think they need a hundred million? No, no, <laughs> I they don't. A hundred bucks. I have that lion they on your porch tomorrow, for buddy. <laughs> yeah. Which is why I'm a little confused as to why these lions looked so fake and trash. You know what my my main my shit. main gripe with this was? It's coming to America. They were in America for seven hours. He found his son that he never seen, never met before, he, off of a sketch. He didn't have to look for him. Minutes. He didn't have to look for him either. <laughs> yeah. As it, soon as he it, thought, yo, I should look for my kid, he yeah, found his kid. It, it <laughs> and just, when does that ever happen? But why are y'all looking for so much realism in coming to America? <laughs> no, I just wanted them to be more. Like they were back in Queens. I, well, I do. I, I agree. I didn't with want that. them to spend as much time as they did in Zamunda. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like that's that was my only thing with it. Like, if it's coming to America, let it be in America. In America, let it be you back in America. They took the exact storyline from Black Panther <laughs> and tried to modernize it somehow. Like, it really was the exact same story. A kid that I didn't know I had come through. Now this family I didn't fuck with over here. Got to say something like. And let's be clear, I'm not comparing it. I didn't expect it to be as good or better than the first. My I, never, I wasn't were, going in with my expectations. expectations. I looked at this in the dirt. I low, looked at this movie low. as if this was the first of its kind. That's how I went into watching it. Like this is the first. And even as that, it just wasn't it wasn't that good for me. I, 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 I found really... it mildly entertaining and my, my expectations were really low. Uh the first thirty minutes were awful. Mm-hmm. But then you there know, was towards some funny the end, moments. it was like, all right, it's, it was some it's funny like moments. the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, so it was some funny moments. If Amazon paid, Tiana looked great. Tiana looked amazing. Leslie Jones and Tracy Morgan were very funny. Yeah, it was great me. seeing all of our black Colin, uh, black cultural what's, icons. What's it was great from SNL. To, uh, Colin Jost. Colin Jost was funny in in, in the uh, little short role that he had. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of funny roles. 
Listen, but, it was an all-star cast and an all-star lineup. I just thought that the storyline fell a lot short. Um, And I just would have liked this to be treated more like the, the classic that it was. And for me, I didn't walk away feeling like that. Like if Amazon use, paid $100 million, right? Uh, Why are we taking money from Frisky's cat food? Spotify. I'm asking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The lion, the fake lion licked the cage. We didn't know why he was licking the cage. And then they showed us that they put cat food on the cage and they showed us the can. They put it right in front of the camera like I do with uh, Erickson sometimes. <sighs> we need to take money from Frisky's, Fashion Nova, and seven other people for product placement in coming to America. Tell me both of those go together. If that's no. the rollout for a in real co- Fashion Nova in store on Jamaica Ave, well, maybe kill. was this uh, movie produced before the deal, and then they, I don't know, so they, maybe they were using the sponsors to fund the movie until they got the deal. Yeah, that that, I don't that know. would make sense to me. I could see that. I'm not sure though. Maybe and then, I don't know, that's I, a bad idea. Yeah, maybe. I'm just, not talking about how you get money. I'm just talking about having such blatant, obvious product placements in a movie like Coming to America with a star like Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy also looked like he ain't spoke to nobody in this movie in 50 years. He looked like, get Arsenio away from me. I don't care about that shit that was cool Well, in I'm pretty 89. sure a lot of them he hasn't, he's never even met before that were in this film. There was quite a few people in this film I'm sure he, has, he met for the first time doing this film. I heard them say fleek in this movie. 15 mm-hmm. minutes and 20 minutes Maybe in. Maybe not even. Mm-hmm. Well, in the first Shout out to my guy, Kenya. Uh, Kenya, I didn't know that he wrote on this. And in watching some of the interviews, I'm hearing that they handed him the script when they were finished so he could attempt to modernize it. And uh, Kenya's really and Kenya's really great. You know, Kenya Barris is dope. He's well, really great. I love most of the things he does. Coming to America, I'm not putting this on him because I don't know if he did it. That wasn't where I needed to hear Fleek. <laughs> That wasn't where I needed. They had uh, they had uh, what was that? Patty, uh, not Patty Labelle. Gladys Knight. They had uh, somebody singing "Fucking Welcome to Wherever the Fuck They Was." It was a mess. Yeah, Gladys Knight, Salt and Pepper, um, in Vogue. They all made appearances. Yeah, and if you watch some of the '80s movies, there was a lot of product placement pretty blatantly in those two. But I see what yeah, you're saying. I just think grabbing every big the celebrity 80s, you can is well, not a way to save a, a, it's, a and, a, and movie. do your product placement. But be a hopefully, cooler about hopefully it. it's not so obvious, right? One and two, not coming to America. Mm. Not coming to America. That's all. This is an established brand. See, for me, I get to how great black people have to be to accomplish certain things. Mm-hmm. It don't get too much greater than coming to America as a movie. Agreed. You know what? I, I thought but about it. I, I would have been I would have been happier if Amazon turned this into a series. I think you give more time to, un, un, you know, let the story unfold, let things happen. This was like, it was just too rushed. You found your son in 10 minutes, never met him before in front of the garden scalping tickets. <laughs> Off of a sketch. And it was just, that was good enough. Yeah. Off of a sketch in 2020. Like, it's <laughs> like, what are we doing? Fair. You know what I mean? I don't I, know if I could find my own mother in front of the, the garden. <laughs> and that wasn't the garden. Yeah. It, it just, wasn't the garden. <laughs> Wasn't New York? Didn't look like New York. Didn't feel like New York. Well, it, it was just way too late. Like, I need Harlem Nights coming to America, Eddie to write coming to America too within the time frame that he was that, rather than post Doctor Doolittle blockbuster superstar Eddie. Mm-hmm. This movie deserved that Eddie. That's why I like to your J comparison. If Hove announced today, I'm doing Reasonable Doubt too. I go, why? You're well, not in that. Space and, American and Eddie's not in that comedic to. space that he was. Huh? American Gangster was reasonable without too. Hmm. Okay, not mad at that thing. Ain't that the truth, Maul? What? Have you heard that? Can you call somebody and confirm that? Not right now. That American Gangster, uh, right. American Gangster was reasonable without too. I don't think so. But I'm not using my whole call for that. But <laughs> I was going to say, I call Guru. It's not a waste no, of call. So. Uh, but yeah, I, I just Eddie's not in the coming to America type comedy anymore. So. I, this, I, this was it's too blockbuster I didn't need every fucking celebrity you could find this shit ruined the whole Saturday night vibe in the living room <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna hold you it I was see that, where they was going it with was that women. one person in the living room after the Monopoly game ended hey coming to America is out I tried to fight it nah it's not March 5th <laughs> <laughs> nah it's not March 5th yet Yeah. here they go nah it's the 4th early release <laughs> fuck yeah. alright put it on let's, let's see what's going uh, on I was so angry at the McDowell sighting 
I don't remember seeing Dikembe in there. He was there. He was there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he was at the table. He actually could he talk to uh the the, the woman he ended up marrying. Uh, Everybody. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, everyone was in the movie. Yeah, I thought I was going to appear in that motherfucker he at one point. <laughs> Damn, I forgot I shot this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I, then, I'm, I'm I would have been better with them doing this as a show, as a series. And then somebody else I was sitting by who shall remain nameless was like, "How she looked though?" Definitely not me that said this. Okay, um, it was like, "Yo, everybody in this movie looks so great except for the Eddie's love interest that looks so great in the original." I thought she looked great. Yeah, she looked good. Yeah, you might be bugging. Mm, show her. We saw her. Yeah, she saw looked her. good. She looked good to me. My Lisa McDowell. <laughs> yeah. She looked good. She still looked good. Well, it wasn't me that said it. No, no we know. We good. know. It was a person next to you. Didn't look like the same girl he was chasing all around at the subway station. And I was 30. Looked like old. a girl he could have left, right? <laughs> As a prince? <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of this in these movies. <laughs> Niggas a prince, and he got to bow down to fam. All right. All right, come on, moving on. Yeah. I'm so sick of Yeah, this is. This is. Don't make part three. Oh, no. I'm with you on I, that. I, I think no, I there we go. Happened. I'm with you on that. Yeah, but I, I do. I did love the celebration that this was, and I love the, that the fact that it did. I feel like that's all it was trying to do, really. Well, then they did come into America a brave injustice, a grave injustice. Maybe so. I, I can certainly. If all you're trying idea. to do with coming to America Part Two is most of it was rehashed jokes from the first one. It was. It was more like a celebration than it was a, a attempt at some brave new movie. <laughs> you know what I'm Calling saying? They were trying to marriage. trying to uh, revolutionize comedy. All right, where, where do y'all stand? Coming to America too, well, or okay, Belly too? But wait, but my question is: <laughs> Why wouldn't you try to revolutionize comedy well, if fair. you have? That's a fair critique. All of the greatest, the great, arguably the greatest comedian ever, and arguably his greatest movie ever with mad comedians. Why would you not try to revolutionize? That's fair. Comedy? That's completely fair. Yeah, this wasn't it. They missed the mark on this one. That's my new thing, Mr. Mark. His son was mad annoying. Like, we could have kept him lost. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas kill me. I would have liked to see more, more Eddie and Arsenio. Like, they, they I feel like they're barely in the talk. movie. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of uh, disappointing. That was disappointing. Eddie definitely had in his contract that they couldn't show up to craft services at the same time. <laughs> hey, notes. hey, let me know when Arsenio's getting breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Bring mine to my trailer. I'm kidding, you guys. Can we Bring mine to my trailer. Jokes. I'm so, I support friendship. Uh, yeah, this was, uh, yeah. Look, no, at that. Look at that computerized line. <laughs> no Johnny Gill anywhere. All these all these celebrities. It's still Black History Year, right? I think it's still Black History Year. No, it's because they was friends. And then when, his, when all of his daughters <laughs> came out. No, y'all are so safe. <laughs> Have a way <laughs> Nah I was asking y'all a question Y'all didn't want to answer it Nah you didn't ask anything You just made a statement That you didn't see somebody anywhere else. Okay. Yeah just like There was so many yeah, nah, celebrities Like yeah. everybody was No, nah, he wasn't in there I think he had things to do He mm. was busy right Yeah Probably yeah. Yeah. Come on Got you Loaded schedule Are you kidding me <laughs> But they shot this for a really long time From my understanding Loaded like, schedule There was a lot I mean, I'm booked that could have happened I'm booked for Till 2023 It's odd that you'd get Colin Jost And not Johnny Gill Right Yeah That's it's a little fishy, a little funny, yeah. That's how you feel? I respect it. I'm not going to talk over the music. Wow. We might get to two million listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, wow. Some organization, some structure, wow. Teamwork, what the fuck? <laughs> you need to do see the thing is more often, buddy. Hey, uh go to blue tone in this piece hey you don't know nothing about that screen don't do that you never dated a chick with a red dress ever <laughs> on your red dress hey and slip on your high heels Damn. Eddie looked mad good in that <laughs> that's what Johnny said <clears throat> is that an edit? yes <laughs> why? why? Nigga, I'm why is actor. that it? <laughs> I ain't edit. trying to be in coming to America. <laughs> so, I don't give a fuck with Eddie think about me. <laughs> Still a edit. I killed First him a fuck yeah, two years ago. Eddie I got him the fuck out of here. Yo, Eddie's no longer. <laughs> Yo, my mom said it was wow. <laughs> Yo, I'm a wild dude, man. Yeah. yeah. Just on the strength of that, I need to big up coming to America. It was great. <laughs> Did your yeah, mom ever explain where she got the, the Eddie was dead news? 
Oh, yeah, she did. I don't remember. I'm not gonna throw her into the bus again. <laughs> <laughs> she got it where everybody got it from. The internet. It's just a from Joe that goes out and people ran with it. Nah, nah, it was a mess. My, my bad, Murphys. And rest in peace, Charlie Murphy. Always rest in peace to my Always. guy. Miss you. We love you. Uh, what is this? What is this right here? Swiss Beats and Timberland sell verses to Triller. Share equity with performers. Did they sell it or not? Who who was publishing this? Pitchfork. Yeah. What the fuck does Pitchfork know? How do they know if they sold it? Uh, because they have PR people that send them press releases no. to all the outlets. Let me read what uh, <laughs> let me read what uh, Pitchfork has to say. Swiss Beats and Timberlands versus has been acquired by Trilla Network. Acquired. Stop right there. What does acquired mean? Did they buy it or not? I'm not a call Swiss. I'm not a call. <laughs> <laughs> what is acquired? I, yeah, I hate the word acquired, up. and we're stupid. Hold up, buddy. it's right there. The I got you. Acquired, buy or obtain an asset or an object for oneself. Yo, I, I managed was... to acquire all books needed. My bad. I thought he was putting all four awards up here. Man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, right, cool. yeah, ego. It's cool. Just, just your award. <laughs> Yo, but they are killing me for having an ego. Yo, having an ego is bad, bro. Yes, your ego is horrible. Everybody has an ego, but it's... it's Don't it's, everybody have an ego? Of course. It's, it's, weird. No, it's, it's weird in how you display it. It's ego. important to have somewhat of an ego. CNS back to podcaster Grace. Like... Yeah, it's, it's, it's how and where you... you Yours is just a little excessive. If they get to see... Every, no, it's because we got to do this fucking thing twice a week where they get to oh. talk to me. I'm mad quiet at home. Yeah, and you wonder why I'm not fucking passionate about it anymore. I'm mad fucking quiet <laughs> and humble at home. I don't think ego is a bad thing. That's all. No, ego, I, don't think ego, I'm out, I don't think I'm out of control with my ego. Ego, ego channeled you right is perfect. Sure. Yeah, I don't think it's. Look at mine out too. So you don't, you don't feel so. Yeah, low. come on, man. We we got four of these. Yeah, yeah. They didn't send us one. Yeah. To split up. We got four of them. That shit about as heavy as a real yeah. fucking turntable. Not not only is it heavy, put them up there so they know the vibes. Listen, yeah, they didn't on, just send the grand. The audience, the audience that's not dissing me for having ego. They travel with us. None of this is possible without y'all. This is you guys' award, not That's ours. True. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Jokes aside, seriously. Yeah, no, 1,000 yeah. is it. 100%. 1,000 is it. They ain't giving us another one. <laughs> now, hey, Never going to Enjoy your little hashtag award. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy yeah. your little microphone. A little turntable shit. You did. <laughs> Y'all know we're not getting another award. You can't, nah. you can't body the awards for a couple years and then get more. Yeah, we gonna, they yeah. have to pick other people. Oh, we didn't nah. talk about the Ambies. We'll get to that later. Unless we sign to iHeart and then iHeart does their awards where they just award themselves. We won't get one. <laughs> well, we're not signing an hour. Oh, well, that's a that, big fact. That, that, that is not happening. Acquired means it's or, theirs. If I acquire this shirt from you, this is my shirt. You could never do that, though. <laughs> <laughs> but if I did, I would have ownership of the shirt. Mad, yeah. hi- mad hypothetical, that is, though. Yes, Roy. I, I could never take the shirt off of you. No, his vintage 444 shirt. It's too tight. Is it vintage? <laughs> I, I can't pull it, looks it off. It's vintage. Him. You've washed it. You the album it. came out three years ago. Three years ago. Is it vintage? Yeah, she she NFT it. She me. NFT it. Look at him fucking. That's a good idea. <laughs> no, nah, NFT. I'm, not, I'm, N- F- I'm NFT in my award. Watch the numbers jump. <laughs> watch the numbers. 300K, easy. What do you mean? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> if Azalea's selling moan videos, I could sell my 444 yeah, team. She sold an audio sex tape for Wait, $300 billion. Dollars. Excuse me. Yeah. Wait, who did what? Azalea, friend of the show. Mm-hmm. One of our biggest supporters. Friend to you and Mo. Well, she loves us. She uh, sold her audio sex tape to NFT and Parks. The numbers you were breaking down were what exactly? Uh, I think the original sale was like fifteen thousand dollars. Regular, yeah, nice, you know, cool, regular yeah, shit yeah. though. But then it's now reselling for a hundred and fifty thousand ETH, which mm-hmm. translates to uh, three hundred billion dollars. <laughs> it was something along those lines. Yeah, she yeah. sold her audio sex tape for three hundred billion. Regular. All right, round of applause. And Lakeith, so was, yeah, on, so Lakeith yeah, was on Clubhouse so. moaning for free. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Mo, Lakeith said that was a recording. I don't care what he said, man. <laughs> he did said that wasn't he was, him. He was moaning. Okay. You could have got some ETH. Here's Congratulations. The, here's the thing Zillion. with that excuse, Lakeith. It's even weirder that you have a recording of a moan. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, it's so he went to YouTube and typed it in. You're equally as weird yeah, for still, going to YouTube. Same weird. <laughs> I've never typed moans Moaning. on YouTube. <laughs> Moaning. No, I understand what y'all saying. Like y'all think y'all, think y'all get more bitches than him? 
I don't know how many women. I mean, I'm asking. Look, I don't know. Look, how, look, 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 look. I don't know how many look, women that now, man gets now, zero. It's, now it's chuckles, and I, I don't, don't know. know how many women that man. I mean, but let's guess. I don't know. I mean, let's guess. You think you think you do more numbers than him? Um, I do not look at women as numbers nah, as data. I, I look agree. at women as you know beautiful creatures that no. we yeah. cannot live on this earth without. Yeah, you can't fuck with Keith. I just yeah. appreciate my inner circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can't yeah. fuck with him. <laughs> so you hey. can't fuck with him is what you say. All that shit is sweet. <laughs> so so you can't fuck with him, right? <laughs> got it, got it. Hey, listen, man, we all gotta come to grips with some yeah. niggas we can't fuck with. I checked the new Michael B. Jordan trailer for the movie. I'm watching it. They I'm put that ad every. I can't escape that ad, and I don't really know why. But it looks like a good movie. Sure. It does. I'm, he ain't I'm say, just mad because I've seen it too many times. He didn't say three words in the trailer, but I'm still watching it. <laughs> it looks good. What is it? It's, uh, uh, yeah, remo- uh, without remorse. This is the one. That's the picture that's always it's on my Twitter everywhere. and yeah. Reddit and everywhere. No, it does look good. It looks like a good movie. Yeah, I'm going to watch that movie. It looks Mom. like, uh, what's uh, Matt Damon? Uh, what's the Matt? What's, what's the I don't know nothing about His Matt biggest Damon. movie. I don't know. I don't even watch this shit. I know what you're talking about. Borns? Yeah. Is his name? Is it Matt? Oh, yeah, Born. Jason Born. Born. Jason Born. That's what this looks like. Black Jason, Jason Born. Jason Born. Who wins? Jason Born or John Wick? Jason Born will beat the dog shit out of John Wick. <laughs> Did you see the last John Wick? Three? Yes. Yeah. Terrible movie. You think Jason Born will beat the shit out of John Wick? I, Jason Born beat a nigga with a book. He killed a nigga with a book. <laughs> yeah, I, Jason Born might be. Top a three book. in movie characters. I've never, I've kill never you. seen nothing like that. He runs with a, a lot. book. He does a lot. Him, of Him, uh, Mark Wahlberg, and Most shooters of that up movie there. Is him running through streets of Europe <laughs> and diving through windows. <laughs> Dude's endurance is high. Jason Bourne will kill. <laughs> I used to run for three miles. <laughs> he would laugh at John Wick if John Wick tried to square. Like you should leave now. <laughs> you should leave. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just yo, if me. if you saw your queen out with with Lakeith, you go up there and say, "Yo, she with me." Nah. <laughs> you don't no. You know what time it is with Lakeith? Just count your losses. That's Do it. It. <laughs> count your losses. Just get on the phone and, and now just, I could flirt free. No, just walk out and remember where you parked at. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him pull it pull it right up. <laughs> Text her, hey, your jacket's in the car, just yeah. let me know when you want it. Yeah. <laughs> It's niggas that be doing shit like that. <laughs> Are you coming to get your body wash? Man, no, you don't throw that shit in the garbage. No, man. it's me. I'm right here. <laughs> Are you coming to get your body wash? It's just sitting here. I don't like having these. Stuff. Wait, did we finish talking about whatever we were supposed to be talking about? Yeah, but I wanted to see. No, no, we're, no, we're, no we were. We're talking about verses. You were calling, yeah, you were calling Swiss. Oh, we're, oh, yeah. That's what I was doing. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Y'all think Swiss going to talk about his business dealings with us? No. Not this is what I think since you asked. Okay. I'm or thinking. he'll do in a really good PR. I way. think that yeah. Joe is so real of a nigga that when I dial up the ego, back to ego. God damn, <laughs> I'm not disproving any of this ego stuff. I have an ego though. We know. <laughs> no one is denying that. You do too. Of course I do. And you do. Of course. And you do. We're fucking men. Men, and you men do. have we real, have that. real men have egos. Everybody on the I, planet I has put it ego. in a song. I told her I have an ego. I'm a fuck bitches. <laughs> Everybody on it, but I said that again, in a record. It's how and when you display your ego. That's all. Hey, everybody. If you ego. can't deal with what we go through, us, that means I want to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Then I have bitches lined up because yeah. I have an ego too, and egos need to be fed. That's true. What was I talking about? You're gonna call Swiss still. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what I think. I think I'm such a real ass nigga that when I get people on the horn. It's official. It's situated already. Ooh. Everything is handled. So Not like when Rory first. called Ari Lennox. Mm. This is when when I make the call. Yeah, it's different. Okay, it's different. Gotcha. You okay. ain't got to worry about. We can air it. Oh no. We can, <laughs> hey, when Joe made the call, we can air this. <laughs> yeah, no. I see the. Uh, I'm gonna see call him man. right now. He don't know. He don't mm. know I'm calling. Guess what, Rory? We can air this. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, none of us have said bad things about uh, yeah, Swiss said beats. <laughs> No, but That's nobody it. said nothing bad about Ari Lennox. I've man. never I'm, said anything saying. bad about Ari Lennox. Uh, yeah, nobody's done never. that. Nobody's done I never. That. Would. I love, well, I I love her music. Yeah, I've never said but anything But it wasn't bad. bad. It was, yo, it's a lot going on on the internet. And it's affecting how I hear the music. That's what I said. Well, Like, she should treat I, us. I feel like, like, like Kehlani treated us. Yeah, Kehlani hated us for like a month. Yeah, yeah. And she came back like, yo, it was a lot. And then, and then Rory went in there, cleaned everything up for Joe. Called her up. Got us the interview. Yeah, because I called Atlantic. Like, yo, I think me and Kalani got an issue. Like, I mean, we don't give a fuck with Kalani. <laughs> <laughs> Atlantic didn't care to mend it at all. Shout out to Kalani, friend of the show. We love you. And I saw Ari this uh, this past week. She said hello to everyone. 
Oh, see, it's all love. Wait, progress. she did. We, well, not it's me. All, it's all love. Not me. Everyone. It's all no, love. Every, I'm ev- wait, I every, think I'm everyone. Everything is love. <laughs> you fall under that. I think that, I'm bro. everyone. You fall yeah. under that, yes. Everything is love. Yeah. I was surprised. I definitely never spoke bad about Ari Lennox. Everything yeah. is love. But, you know, it's all good. We love her. She loves us. I love Ari Lennox. Everyone I mean, loves she everyone. She didn't say that when she called us. Everybody loves everybody. <laughs> well, sometimes... <laughs> we still have to call. Sometimes family goes through, through tiffs. Oh, we're, yeah. fam- we're family. We're all family. Listen, I just found out I'm D'Angelo's friend last week. So oh, that's true. <laughs> life is life is on the up and up for me, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I've turned that just being honest here. So fast. D'Angelo's my friend. Like, don't fuck y'all. I got friends. You guys were talking. I like to. I like it to sound like there's commotion. Put, put his put his whole name in your zone, name. zone, zone. <laughs> it's the zone that we own. Oh come on, buddy! Come on, he just sold. Right, he just I, sold I, something I, for quarter billion. You know he's spending yeah, that money yeah. right now. Hello, zone, zone, zone. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Listen, this is Joe Button calling from the Joe Button Podcast, which means we are on air, Swiss. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, uh, man. Zone, zone, zone. <laughs> uh, equity, nigga. Uh, <laughs> Oh, you got, you probably got Alicia by. You can't, you can't, you know what I mean? You probably can't get in there. Yeah, why can't right there? Yeah. Alicia don't let him say nigga. They said, like, they, they, they said, they said he probably got Alicia like, now. Right there. Yeah, Alicia don't let him say. Hey, so they said, they, she, she laughing hey, right so at you. seriously wrong with you. Hey, Swiss. Hey. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, man, thank you. That's, that's, that's all I got. Well, that's not true. I'm reading this. I'm reading something that says, Swiss Beats and Timberlands versus has been acquired by Triller Network. Acquired is where I'm stopping at. You sold it? License? Am I asking? I'm doing too much? You can tell me. <laughs> yes. I mean, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's, it is. It's sold. Oh, they got a big bag. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. sold. But it's not. But, but you know. You know, that's not that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, you know, like, you know, um, that big bag. It's, 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 a, it's a good thing because now uh, we're rich. Man, just enjoy the mountains with your wife, man. How <laughs> 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 you, know, you want to talk yeah, to us? We know what time it is, man. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's look, awesome. we, we 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 own we we owners in Triller now, right? So versus Triller, so you know it's sold, but we still there. We still we 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 owners in the overall shit now, which which is which is fresh, man. Well, Swiss, like we just said about uh, we just said this about the whole Square title uh acquiring last week. You mm-hmm. you 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 would sell title uh when you're allowed to participate in other ways, and what it sounds like. Is that that's what happened here? You sold verses, and now you're allowed to participate in some other ways with Triller, correct? Correct. Awesome. And with, and and with verses, by the way. Awesome. Right? Awesome. Awesome. Congrats. Oh shit! Mm. Took a little thing of jiggy out. Nah, that is awesome. Friends with us, you know. Wait, what'd you say? I said, and we got to bring all our friends with us. That's my favorite part of this whole deal. Yeah. 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 Every artist that's that my favorite. That's my favorite part too. Equity in it. That, mm-hmm. That's amazing. Yeah, that's that's my favorite part too. So, listen, listen. I, I I know what type of time Triller is on, because when 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 we were free agents, we got on the phone with Triller, and they were very aggressive speaking to us as well, and it, it scared me. They they told me to, <laughs> they told me to name my price, and I hung up. So I'm, <laughs> I'm imagining that he said the same thing to you, and you didn't hang up. <laughs> I'm, th- I'm thinking you named the number and it got done. You don't have to answer that, but this is awesome. Uh, I think this is the future of the way deals are being done uh, yeah. with equity and just participation. Yeah, uh, and you have to include artists now. So I, I personally want to yeah, thank sure. you and say I appreciate the way that y'all did this, molded this, and presented this because I think it's going to do a lot for the future. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. Yes, I think it's important, you know, because we build so many platforms. And, you know, the creatives are never really going to the IPOs and, and going public. You know, we're always left out of those things. So, mm-hmm. you know, it was it was our job to make sure that, you know, everybody can go together with the IPO and, you know, with the ownership. And, you know, they only used to seeing like a few of us doing these things. They're not used to seeing over 40 some people moving as a as a unit together in an ownership way. 
Mm. And, you know, for me, I think that that's my favorite part <laughs> of the whole thing um, is that we was able to bring the community with us to another level, you know, and it's like, uh, and, and, you know, the crazy part is like the artists would have still been happy for us if, if we didn't include of them. Of course. They would have still been happy for us because everybody had fun. But it's just like, okay, why don't we just go on the whole ride together, you know? And, and that's, just, that's the way how, that's, that's the way how we want other people to treat us. You know, we want respect from each other, but we don't respect each other. We want ownership, but we don't give ownership to each other, right? right? So that's what me and Tim wanted to, like, push push a little bit further and show people that, listen, everybody can eat. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, it don't have to just be me and Tim holding up the flag. Like, we've seen the story already. Mm -hmm. You know, like, let everybody participate, you know, getting this news on a Tuesday that they, own shipping, they, that they have ownership in the company that they felt that, they got paid from already, whether it was from streams, whether it was from merchandise, right. whether it was from, you know, all type of things, you know, and we feel that we, people shouldn't have to fight for everything. Like we got to fight for everything, you know, it's just like, we shouldn't, you know, like we should just do great things. And right. so this was, this was important for us. And Trilla was uh, the only place that was allowing us to have the artist freedom to do what we did. Everybody else, it wasn't, they didn't, you know, it, it didn't work. And it's cool. All of that shit is super inspirational. Let me get messy for two seconds. Uh, <laughs> Larry Jackson called me this morning. I got his thoughts off of the record about Zodiac signs. Nothing to do with verses. <laughs> now, what I will say is this. When we did our Spotify deal, and as, as I try to negotiate different deals, one of the roadblocks I run up against is when the when the deal ends, the companies try to get us to not be able to sign a new deal or promote a new deal for at least six months, maybe a year after that deal is done. D'Angelo just happened a week ago. And y'all yeah. y'all have announced a deal. Yeah. When you hang up, because I don't want to incriminate you at all in this, I'm gonna ask my viewing audience how Apple could have let that happen. <laughs> that's it. That, that's well, it. <laughs> you don't have to say nothing. <laughs> that's just confusing to me. Like I would have never let y'all be able to sign a deal and announce a deal a week after our deal has come to an end. Are you kidding me? Yeah, well, that's you know, Apple didn't Apple didn't own us, you know. Um But even in a, even been... in a license. <laughs> Listen, man, tell Alicia we love her. <laughs> we love you. Listen, enjoy. enjoy. Zone, zone, zone. zone. But, 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 look, I want to give much love to Larry Jackson, yeah, much no, love to Apple. Much love. Always got you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 gotta give much okay. love. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. You Where's know, but we, 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 we got, we got super love for, for, for Larry Jackson for many years. You know, Great um, Same. thank Shout you. For, thank you for Apple for supporting us and you know sky's not the limits is just a view let's go zone my last question what do you say to the people that may think that you guys have run out of matchups tell them to put some new ones on the table in front of us <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell, tell them to look, uh, tell them to look at Instagram tomorrow mm. uh oh uh oh okay uh -oh. okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. All right, cool. Listen, Swiss, we love you again. Congratulations. Really great things you're doing. Send uh send our our, our send the same to Timlin for us, please. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And we appreciate the support. You know what I'm saying? And Joe, you know what it is. Zone, zone, zone. Yes, sir. We'll talk soon, man. Love. All right, love. Nah, it's dope. I I well, really love that he really brought everyone with him when he did it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. So now back to well, back I to mean, reading this. Has yes, been. he sold it, but he also has equity in the company that bought it. Yeah. So it's not like it really went away. From yeah. ownership. And I'm pretty sure they still have creative control and, mm -hmm. you know. Trailer seems like a, a very intelligent company, and I doubt they would want to take that away from Swizz and Tim as far as the creative no. shit with Versus. Like, no, no y'all have killed this shit. Yeah. You guys should continue to run it. Yeah. We just want y'all to bring that platform and that audience here. Mm-hmm. Back to the pitchfork we read now that we understand this a little better. Swiss and Timberland's Versus has been acquired by Triller Network, the parent company of the TikTok competitor Triller. 
While the exact nature of the deal was undisclosed, it was announced that the two versus founders are now larger shareholders in the Trilla network and that they have allocated a portion of their equity in the Trilla versus combined company to all 43 creatives who have performed on versus to date. I think that is so swaggy. No, it's amazing. That is so even if it's the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit, it's the gesture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. And from Triller's perspective, too, I want to give them credit because I could totally see a company looking at Swizz and Tim and going, no. A hundred percent. Happens every day, I think. No fucking way. We'll give y'all some equity. No, I think I'm going to do it with all 43 of these artists. Fuck you. <laughs> I think what it is is these platforms are starting to see that, you know, we'll always find a way to create. Some of them, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? And if it's, it's either you want to, it's a partnership now or we're going to continue to do what we do over here mm-hmm. and y'all continue to do what y'all do. But it just makes sense for Versus to say, listen, we 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 know the audience that y'all have acquired. We've seen the numbers. We've seen what y'all do. Like, we want to be a part of it mm-hmm. in some way. And this, they made this happen. The, 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 the two things that I will say about this, I'm not privy to, I'm not privy to any more business than some of you are out there, some of the viewers. Uh, but like, yeah, like I said to Swiss, that was a mistake. Like not having that clause in a contract, not having any clause in a contract that prohibits them from Keisha Cole and Ashanti not on there. That's what I just said. I was just reading it. D'Angelo's on that's there a, twice, so I can see that's this a being typo. a typo. Oh. that's okay. a typo because okay. Swiss may, let it uh, let it be known. Okay. Anyone who has participated, <laughs> yeah. is they, getting they, equity. They left them off. Yeah, so that's just a typo. But yeah, for them to be able to announce that deal a week after the D'Angelo shit, right? Mm-hmm. My brain tells me you had to negotiate it. Like when you're talking equity, it takes a while, mm-hmm. and when you're talking about Certainly. equity for everybody, hell yeah! Whoa, it takes even longer. So let's put ninety days yeah. on it. Yeah. Ninety days is it's a, a short. Quick, it's short. That's quick. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to do it in relation to the ten episode license that I assume Apple to have had. I didn't go back and check to see what Apple put out, mm-hmm. but I'm thinking it's a ten ten episode order Wait, or something like that. On. Was D'Angelo the tenth? Yeah. It all makes sense to me now. What part? <laughs> Why we were all sitting here? All right. Why wouldn't you postpone? Why wouldn't you postpone? It was going to be D'Angelo and Maxwell on Valentine's Day. Cool. If it doesn't happen on Valentine's Day, we still want to see D'Angelo and Maxwell. And Maxwell at some point. And then point. Maxwell is trying to figure this shit out. And then all of a sudden we get something that has nothing to do with the structure of this platform at all. It's just D'Angelo. It's a D'Angelo concert. And it's a versus. I'm getting out my deal. It's not a versus. We're getting out the deal. I'm getting out my deal. Yeah, we spoke about this. We're getting we out the deal because yeah. we have to start the next deal that we finished. Yeah. yeah. Damn, but now Maxwell don't get that. You know what I mean? But for, I was forget say, about yeah, that, but y'all, y'all didn't tell... Nobody told Larry Jackson. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Nobody spoke to, to Apple and said, hey, we got this deal done in like week five of that. Yeah. <laughs> like we're finished. It's just interesting. Do you have to? Yeah. I don't think you do. What, what's what's you your do? question? Huh? I don't think what's you what's your exact you question? I'm sorry. Did, what, did Swizz and Tim have to tell Larry that they were talking to Triller? No. Oh, that's how I feel. If we have a 10 episode they, deal and I want to start negotiating something else after and I'm going to fulfill my 10 episodes, I'll tell you a fucking thing. You know, you Unless I want to continue to work with you. Mm-hmm. You don't have to. You're right. But it looks away if you don't. Business. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I think you only. Not only does it look away if you don't. I'm sorry, Roy. Not only does it look away if you don't. But just in the in the art of negotiating and leverage. No, no, no. But you can't say that because you agree with. Khaled not telling Ace Hood about that deal for we the best. So you can't you can't say No, this. I say he was within his right, but I would have if I if I planned on Cal uh Ace Hood continuing with me as my flagship artist and I would have done that because Ace Hood delivers to me. Absolutely. Definitely. But if we're dealing with just rights, no, Khaled didn't have to tell him. And they didn't have to tell him. I'm just saying, like what type of deal did did Apple and again, speculation here. Yeah. What type of deal did Apple present? Where the relationship maybe no equity, maybe with, no equity to the other artists. That's that's my point in saying if they went to Triller, let's for example, episode five, it means Apple was not delivering what they wanted. And if 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 Swiss and Tim walked away from Apple because they did not agree to give equity to the artist that performed already, I love. Then I'm highlighting this. I'm more. highlighting this even more because yeah, you can't too, tell me that Apple didn't offer them a bag. Right. Well, hold on. Apple Let's, offered them a licensing bag. For sure. I'm not, I, can, <laughs> I can feel safe to guess that. Yeah. I'm not here to stick up for Apple. 
but I'm going to. That's different with Triller and Apple. It's way more difficult to go to Apple and say, I want equity of course. with everything for all 43 artists to Apple the way you could with Triller. Way, 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 way oh. fucking different. There sure. could be I mean, stock yeah, but options. It but there it doesn't have to be. Yeah, there could be stock I'm just options. You're right. I'm just saying. But it doesn't have different. to be. Apple, could, Apple could go make a fucking split company. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure. And offer them equity in this new split company. Yeah. Apple has no problem doing that, but they but, didn't. But also, so we I don't know if Apple actively has this lane the way Triller does of us wanting to do a lot of live content, a lot of things that are internet-based and artist-based, the way Apple just doesn't at the moment. I'm not saying they couldn't do it. But, but it's, it's easier to start a, a side company if you're Apple, and that's what you want to focus on and be a competitor to Triller with the live event shit. Then you could give equity to every artist. If you don't have that, were you going to give equity in Apple to somebody? It's but, not going to happen. But in this negotiating shit, right? Like, I saw niggas kill me with the Patreon shit. I saw niggas kill Hove with the uh, square, square. The, with the square shit. Build you up to break you down. In this Build you up of, again. It's like, Joe, we need you back so we could kill your ass again. That's been my whole career. <laughs> <laughs> they, on, they only want me so they could kill me. I'm clear on that. I should have made a cool line out of it, too. <laughs> That's where you fucked up. That's cool. I, I never made cool line. You did, um, you did. Joe, Joe's cool. line was fuck y'all. <laughs> and fuck these niggas. But, <laughs> but like public perception sometimes, I'll use me for example. They kill me with the Patreon shit. Who cares about Ego. Patreon? We don't care about that. We don't care about that. It's corny. It's corny. It's corny. Right? But mm-hmm. as the person that's negotiating, you want to go to somewhere that has a large upside versus like Apple, like Rory is saying. Like Apple's Apple. Mm-hmm. If they don't want to create the, the, the new company and break you down, been cool, but Triller now. This is what's so dope oh. about these type of companies wow. that, that aren't running the whole fucking world the way Apple is. Mm. You have more room to maneuver with these type of companies. Yeah. It's way, way different. Apple is making fucking hardware. Mm-hmm. Think they care about Keisha Cole and Ashanti getting equity? <laughs> and if they're going to continue down this path, Triller, I'm saying now, uh, I like what they're they, doing. They have content. They have, uh, they like have a 2 chain show. They announced some Mike Tyson shit. The, the, the Jake Paul shit, I loved way more than I anticipated. Do they have loving. battle rap? I love the Mike Tyson caffeine. That's caffeine. That's still caffeine? That's caffeine. Okay. Uh, they I can see them moving in They announced space, some yeah, Snoop right. Dogg shit. Listen, if, if caffeine don't do right by the battle rappers, what, what is to stop the battle rappers from going to do the same shit? I haven't uh, loved that platform I can for what it's worth. Totally caffeine. see. Yeah. Triller, Triller. Yeah, caffeine. Y'all got to do the I right see, thing. I, I, Caffeine, I like. I like what they. The it, idea is great. Needs, the I idea don't like nothing amazing. if they're not gonna pay the battle rappers. Oh no, no, that's first and foremost. We ain't even got to. This same I shit just that Swiss just say. did is what caffeine needs to do with the battle rappers. Agreed. Hey, we busting this well down. Deserved. Some of y'all on equity here, and and now y'all can participate. I agree. As we rise, they should do that. Absolutely. But I'm not gonna make niggas do the right thing if the battle rappers are still popping up happy with battling on caffeine. Hey, my nigga, have a blast. Right. Like right. whatever works for you. I don't want to. That's my new shit. I'm not. I'm not killing somebody because they didn't do what Joe thinks they should have did. Mm-hmm. Whatever works. Right. But I do think that there's a way for the battle rappers to participate the same way the versus participants are participating. Oh, for sure, because there are battle rappers that should have equity in whatever platforms that those battles are being. I, don't, I just don't think that caffeine is doing a good job with like marketing the shit. Honestly, I. I I'm the last person to know when a battle rap when event is happening. happening. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm with Parks yeah. all the way on that. Yeah. I'm a battle rap fan. Uh, let, me, let me provide some pushback, though. Remember, sure. I, remember I texted you and asked you how to use the fucking app? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, how do I get to this battle? Hop sent me a link. He just sent me a link like, yo, here's. Right. I was like, okay, cool. Click. Yeah, but I'm. Are, are we certain that Caffeine has even thought about uh, mass promotion as opposed to would, just worrying about the people that have downloaded the app? And we're focused on in app only. We haven't moved to outside you of app. Should be promoting it so people can download that. You I'm an admitted casual fan, and unfortunately, you make when you want to get to the next level. The casual fan is where you're going to make your money and get you the next tier. I'm a casual fan. If I can't find that shit, I'm not. It's not. If you I'm can't, click it, it really always true. goes back to that. If you can't find it, we you have, don't know what's we happening. We have X amount of people subscribing to us on Patreon. We are making X amount of dollars. And let me tell you from my mouth, I don't give a fuck if anybody casual else tunes in. The uh, people that are there right now. You, mis- you misunderstand what oh, I'm saying. Go ahead. Um, I'm not saying from a monetary value. Yes, I think we've had this core 
fan base conversation a thousand times. So mm-hmm. not, we're not going to rehash of it. Of course. Getting to the next level of... We always rehash things here. Go ahead. Yeah, we do. <laughs> do you think it's easier to get on caffeine now or back in the day? Yo, you think it's easy to get caffeine <laughs> now? Back in the day. I don't know, man. Yeah. It was easy to have, get caffeine uh, back in the day. <laughs> uh, as, as far as ex- exposure and eyes on your app, which will eventually lead to monetary value, yeah, you have to get to that next tier where the casual fan knows about what's going on. Yes, you can maybe make more money just focusing on your core fan base in theory, but if you want to get to that next next level, you need the masses to know about it. And oh, that no. comes from promotion. But what, and I feel like caffeine, to Parks' point, I completely agree with him, doesn't do a good job of it. <laughs> you're right. My response to that is, I don't think everyone cares about what you're saying. True. I don't think everyone cares about the getting to the next level. I don't think the caffeine promotion. is treating it like if you know, you know type of thing. Yeah. No, that, that's, that's totally fair. Let's take it back to our Pusha T Spotify interview. I don't want to bore the listeners again with this shit. We did over 2 million listeners on the Pusha T episode. Mm-hmm. Give me any number of that that y'all think. Subscribe to Spotify from that one interview alone. Not many. What's, it not, was, uh, what's not many? Give me. The people that listen to that episode that for episode. the first time and then subscribe to Spotify? Yeah. Two million, I'll say maybe, maybe f- less than five percent of that. Which is what? I, no, I don't think any of us can do math in this maybe room. 40, <laughs> maybe forty, maybe uh, forty thousand. Someone, which is a lot. Don't bring up twisted. a calculator. Let's all save yeah, ourselves. That's why I'm confused. That, I know I'm pulling up a calculator right now. <laughs> yeah, that's not. A, it's not bad actually. When you think about it, if thirty thousand people subscribe, do you know how to do that? After that, I'm not mad at that. Well, that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing y'all talk thirty. It's a lot of money for yeah. one three-hour piece of content. Absolutely. Well, here, here's that, th- that's your low end. That's your low end. You said thirty thousand, and I multiplied with what Spotify averages a new subscription to be. Okay. Bong. Mm-hmm. Bong. And you're saying that that's this the, is your, that's this the money is, value. This is off your low thirty thousand number. I would have it higher than that. Okay. So now, if I'm Triller, right? These are the numbers I'm focused. If I, if I'm not doing what Rory's saying. Mm. If I'm not trying to mass promote and get more people and get to that next level, like if I'm cool with just this number and uh-huh. just these people, then I'm cool. But to that, that's back to my point that everybody can't go. Like we're getting, we're getting to the spot where this is a niche thing. Yeah. This is a luxury thing. This is not for mass consumption in the future. I don't think. Agree. Everything isn't. Yeah. Uh, I, especially with this type well, of content. I agree. They picking teams now. Mm-hmm. They already got the captains and they're picking the teams now. So nothing about that's Joe's opinion, by the way. I don't mm. nothing about them picking teams now. Fucking Amazon picked coming to America. Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Everybody's picking their content. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. If, if that's happening in 2021, what do I think the future of this looks mm. like? Mm. And I promise we're not going to get into one of our back. Yeah, no, we have no random. No, no, just oh, go ahead. Just quickly. Go ahead. No, we not <laughs> arguing. Just quickly. Nobody. No, no, no. No, you're my man. No, no. no I love you. <laughs> no, I love you, son. No, I, I love, love you, you nigga. Son. <laughs> I love you, son. My God. God family, for <laughs> real. <laughs> uh, off that Pusha T example, to the casual shit, a lot of our Pusha T views were off sensationalism. Mm-hmm. It was off what was Timing being talked about. And that... Brought in the Gift casual fan that wouldn't typically listen to us, and to that number you're saying, that percentage of that casual fan that went after the sensationalism Stop got to, got to that number. That wasn't a small number. I have the number that's higher. What that's what I'm saying about getting the casual fan. Even if you grasp just a little bit of the casual fan base, you're doing numbers, man. Yeah, that casual fan base shit do matter. <laughs> well, that's why everybody only promotes to their casual to casual fans. Mm. Everybody, because well, they, they need promotion. They need to be promoted to because they're casual myself included i like battle rap but i'm a casual battle rap fan i need to be promoted to i'm not gonna sit and research yeah. if, if it ain't fucking daylight right now i'm probably not gonna know yeah. <laughs> lux better be on round seven for daylight <laughs> no that's gonna be crazy I don't know how many rounds he got written already but see if i'm a battle rapper we getting off this because i don't know how compelling this is to the audience but well it's I'm interesting a, if i'm a, ba- it's if not I'm just a battle rapper, rapper not uh if I'm the best, because that's the position that we operate from. Mm-hmm. We are one of the best podcasts in the world. Mm-hmm. Now, if I move that to podcast, I'm not podcast, uh, battle rap. If I'm Lux or Daylight or one of the best battlers in the world, mm-hmm. I'm not battling anywhere else without an equity conversation. You will never see me again without that talk being had. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Caffeine. You're not getting Daylight versus Lux. 
and Daylight or Lux get no, 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 no. But the fans hate when I say equity, so that's my last time saying the word, and I'm done. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Even, it's fine. But we just started with this word. <laughs> yeah, we got just, here. That's why I hate these niggas, man. We just started getting equity. <laughs> Some of these fights we got to have. Yeah, right. absolutely. Some of the conversations we have to have, I know it's annoying, I know it's redundant, I know it's repetitive. But some of them are necessary. Mm-hmm. And as somebody who has over 20 years experience here, this is new. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is new. Sorry that y'all are tired of it. But don't care. This is new. It's too much money going around and people need to participate in all of it. Correct. All of it. All of it. Damn, I'm not going to say the name what I was about to say. Damn, you fumbled the bag, my G. Uh, <laughs> there's a stick up coming to these men. There's a stick up coming. I, this, this, this shit couldn't look any more beautiful right now. I mean, I don't know how we landed here, but for Joe, this looks beautiful out here. Swiss gotta, doing this, Hove doing that, the Ambies and the companies doing this nasty fucking shit right here. It couldn't get no more beautiful than the position they can sit in right now. The Ambies, let me explain it. Podcast, uh, Podcast Academy, what's that? Who's in it? What is that and who is that? It's like coming to America 3. Just throw anybody in there. No, it's like the Grammys. I was just, I was, or it's just like the Grammys. Yeah. That's all. Who, who exactly is like the Grammys. It's the same shit. Well, they have the full list of. Well, the Grammys, they they did a cool design to the award, and they try to make it really prestigious. The Ambies, nigga, we never heard of you. Y'all don't have a, a long historic history of excellence. And then fuck out of here. The Podcast Academy, an industry association looking to establish, looking to establish, meaning you haven't. Meaning you have yet to establish, which is cool. But let's be clear in these things. Excuse me. Get that checked out. The premiere, yeah, somebody says, uh, Joe hates reading out loud. He only ever bursts when he's reading. He's embarrassed uh, about see? his reading skills. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, see? It's nerve wracking. I told you. <laughs> you guys <laughs> suck both my balls wrinkled while they're, while there's space in while there. While they're shy. While they're tiny in there. <laughs> while they're flaccid. While there's mad sack. <laughs> The extra sack. Yeah, extra sackish for you. Hey, by the way, Parks, who started it? I think Rory doesn't have a clear understanding of what we be talking about. It's not who's talking about their balls or their genitalia or their private part. It's talking about, like, sucking someone else's. That is where it gets I funny. Have, I have never said that on this podcast. Just where it gets like or awkward in, or uncomfortable. outside of this podcast. <laughs> oh, thank on God. Mike, off Mike Paul. Thank the Lord. <laughs> thank, thank God you haven't. I mean, I, I don't judge anyone that does it. It's just not my thing. And if it was, I wouldn't care. Yeah, no. I, that task looks... Suck away, buddy. That task looks way too crazy <laughs> oh, for me. <laughs> Yo, the group announced a total of... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's get this out of the way real quick. The group announced well, have a total you, have you tried and of failed? 164 Ambies. I can't ignore him if he's talking directly to me, right? You can. The group, yeah, let me try it. Tastes a little group, bit more. The group announced a total of 164, 164 Ambies nominees spanning 23 categories selected by voting members of the Podcast Academy. The Ambies winners will be announced in an hour long ceremony to be live streamed on YouTube, Twitch, and other platforms that creators don't participate in the uh, platforms on Sunday, May 16th, 2021, starting at 5 p.m., with the pre show starting at 4 30 p.m. New members of the org will be able to vote. To determine this year's winners, if they register by March 26th, the membership fee is one hundred dollars, seventy five dollars to bullshit. students. Hey, uh, Joe Button Podcast mar- marketing, fans, marketing we college. don't need the Ambi. Nah. Well, yeah, we weren't nah. getting the Ambi anyway because no, a, we a later paragraph shares the people that are on the board for the Ambies. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where is it? Uh, no, not the nominees. Chasing the, Cosby. Here we go. Here we go. Nasty right here. Fucks. This is the important Dying for paragraph. sex. Dirty Diana. What is going on over here? Founding financial backers of the Podcast Academy are Spotify. We're out. <laughs> iHeartMedia. I said iHeartMedia. We're out. We're out. Yeah, still out. Yeah. I said NPR. I like NPR, man. I do too, but we're out. Yeah, we're out. So, yeah. I said PRX. I don't know. I'm not... Uh, we're not probably not cool with them either. Yeah. <laughs> Amazon Music, which now Love owns them. Wondery. Uh, yo, NPR again. <laughs> NPR again. Tenderfoot TV, Sirius XM, Stitcher, Intercom's Pineapple Street Media, Sony Music Entertainment, hey. On Being Studios, Lips, them. Lipson, and UTA. The association was founded last year with the mission to foster inclusivity, <laughs> elevate awareness, and build excitement for podcasts through initiatives, programming, and our annual awards, says Donald Albright. Does it feel inclusive to you? 
You know what kind of bothers me when I was working at Sony? Hmm. Everyone in that building was super well aware of our podcast and what it was. Mm. And the way Sony has dived into podcasting and had somebody that had a co-host of one of the biggest music podcasts, period. Mm. No interest. <laughs> they didn't see it back then. It's cra- they was well aware. They knew what it was. Hey, we love the show. It's funny. It's great. It's cool what you little guys are doing over there. It's a little small podcast. Yeah, after that. Now, now Sony is just focused. Sony Music focusing on that shit. After that uh, podcast episode when I was like, uh, all these great minds were in Def Jam at the time. Like, you probably won't get that again. Mm-hmm. I got a call from Kaiser and Julie that same week. Kaiser I speak to all the time, but Julie was with him. Yeah, we know. I spoke we, we to know. Julie in a while, and Kaiser was like, Julie, man, got, got Joe on the phone. You remember Joe? <laughs> uh, and she was hey, Joe, what's going on? What you doing, man? And Kai said, yeah, I know they got the hottest podcast in the world. We can't talk to them because we can't afford those guys. But, man, they're doing some awesome stuff up there. Mm-hmm. And I scratched my head when he said it. Mm-hmm. And I understand it because you can't afford us. What I'm going to tell you, you ain't going to give it to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. But you got it, though. Yeah, no, it's there. <laughs> it's there. It's in the building somewhere. I mean, so is that a can't or a won't? A won't? <laughs> not that I think we would ever bring our podcast to a Sony or Atlantic. Or oh no, no, like of, of course not. It was just—it's crazy to me how much Sony has dived into that space. Like they've just yeah. been focusing on it. And while they were so aware, every big exec in that building, and they, they own Epic, RCA, everyone. Yo, love the podcast. Yo, thank you for playing R and B shit. Mm. Never, it never dawned on them once <laughs> <laughs> that this would be a thing. But you know, it's fine. And that goes back to the Apple thing. You can afford you it, but you're not, giving, you're not giving it. Listen, man, congratulations. <laughs> Tall the ambies. Two million in a short week. <laughs> Press <laughs> this on your conscience. Four years in a row. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but that's back to my coming to, America, coming to America beef. Like, look what you have to do. And I'm glad that we got these white boys with us along for the ride. Because yeah, my guys experience it. Mm-hmm. Look what you got to do to like try to secure something great. Mm-hmm. Like we've been great for a while. Ego again. Sorry. <laughs> we've, we now put we our got, best we have, foot uh, Trophies to recognize our greatness. You know what though? I think that's where they get me From wrong. Black entertainment television. I, I think that's where the viewers get me wrong. At least the YouTube commenters that are killing me. Mm-hmm. I can see where it looks like my ego Yo, is If you split, feel away, just, just say up. you feel away. I do feel away because <laughs> I want to divulge so much more, but I can't. <laughs> Like, I don't want to leave them with just Joe's ego is out of control, but when you're out here and shit is out of control and you start speaking the facts, it will seem egotistical. It will. Yeah. It that's will. Cool. And I have ego. Everybody ah! does. <laughs> Everybody has ego. Yo, these, now I see these categories. And again, I promise you, them. I promise Give you this them. is not a specific breakfast club hate or anything. It's just a prime example Best comedy podcast. We can hate them niggas. We hate the fuck who we want to hate. <laughs> I love everybody. The fuck? <laughs> niggas don't love us. No, no, no. <laughs> I, why, why I'm using this example. Nor is niggas running around and acting like they love us. I don't give a fuck what you niggas feel. Everything is love. The Breakfast Word. Club, which Charlemagne being so prominent in the podcast space, has admitted plenty of times every time the iHeart Awards gave them the best podcast. Mm. He has said, fam, the Breakfast Club is not a fucking podcast. So iHeart is back on the board for this shit. Best comedy podcast. Name the joke the Breakfast Club ever told on a podcast. That they were better than us? <laughs> oh, and that you and I deserve 12%. Um, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did it say? Nothing. You were standing right there. I didn't say a word, but that's fine. Anyways. <laughs> And I'm not using Breakfast Club specific. I'm using Charlemagne that, that knows the podcast space so well and is admitting to it that he knows that the Breakfast Club is not a podcast. He said it. Why every time they start a new fucking podcast award series, it's the same bullshit every time. Let me find every iHeart thing I can do and make it a pod. It's not a podcast. It's a radio show. Mm. Stop with this bullshit. It don't is mind me. It is, man. I don't. I don't even pay these platforms any mind like that for real. Yeah. If you listen to us and you like us, cool. If you don't listen to us and you don't like us, cool. True. 
We gonna keep yeah. doing. We gonna keep doing what we doing. Yeah, that's what. True I mean. indeed. That's where I am. Okay, all, of, all of this is all of this is ego shit. If, we, if you really want to start having conversation, about no, 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 no. My problem is not do these awards. I don't care about this award or any other award that has to do with podcasting. It bothers me that how important the podcasting space is that they're trying to condemn it to shit that isn't a podcast. Uh, they're trying to award things that are not of the actual genre. No, I get it. It's I'm crazy. Sure. Yeah. Like, no, I'm just, it, it talks about the importance and that goes to money. Fucking award. Mm-hmm. Even though with Grammys, when artists get Grammys, their sales go up. Mm-hmm. That's why it's offensive to so many artists where it's like, I'm not getting nominated or getting an award. You're just giving it to whatever label has the highest shit and the biggest artist. You're fucking with my money. Mm-hmm. Not to say that this has the value at all of the Grammys, but who's to say it couldn't one day? All right. And if you're going in this way to say... Things that are not podcasts and You're people that have put bullshit. and people that have put in yeah. real sweat equity to build this podcasting thing, not just for themselves, but for the entire world of podcasting, and then to award something that's not a podcast is fucking offensive. I get it. So fuck your academy that you're trying to build. I, I know. It. I know one thing. I'm reading Best Entertainment Podcast, and if that for life the podcast is. The Four Life Show. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> you know, if Fifties Four Life Show is an audio as a podcast, I'm gonna be tight in the base. Is it? I don't know. Oh, it well, like it's it. kind of. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. Gentrification. I'm playing asleep. I know. I said I wasn't passionate. About podcasting. Now, I'm kind of offended. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Rory being passionate now. What do you know? I'm kind of offended by this. Uh, shout out to Jay and Silva uh, for his NFT talk on our last podcast. And sure enough, as soon as he leaves, Jack Dorsey's first tweet is on track to sell for $2.5 million. And he'll donate that money to charity. Well, that was fast. He's doing it right. You guys think I can pull that beard off? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I do. It takes a long time. You can do it. I might. You did it, Rory. <laughs> after, <laughs> after all the hate I was getting yesterday about how I look 45. Oh, yeah, man. It can, <laughs> you can't be the first ginger they see after Prince Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Great segue. It's not a segue because we're... Oh, yeah. It's yeah. going to be in the front. <laughs> hey, sleep <laughs> oh, time. Hey, we talked about it already. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good callback. Good callback. <laughs> we did. That's uh, crazy, that conversation we had. <laughs> uh, Fabo. Playing a record called Come. No, I didn't play this in Boston. <laughs> did you come in Boston? <laughs> Allegedly. Who goes on a vacation in Boston? <laughs> <laughs> Anything to not be in Atlanta. I'm not mad at that at all. Nights like these, I sit in my room with a pen and a pad. Missing my dad, now the world feeling my rap. I make songs about women that hurt me and put it on wax. Fuck that. Cause you're the only one I'm into. Yeah, I like, I like this guy. Into you, you bought that. Hey. Only it's the wall I hid it now. Wet, but I ain't slipping now. Sure you feel it wow. I ain't slipping out. Fuck out of here. Hey. I paid a toll to make you come. Hey, I got dressed to make you come. What are you talking about? I showered for you. <laughs> not, not for me. Come on, imagine this was out when you drove to Montreal for some pussy. I drove all this way to make you come. <laughs> Here's some harmonies on the second verse. That'll get it there. Well, if you came to Boston, you come to Boston. Right for your love like I do. Oh, wait, come on, Rory. Get your <laughs> shit off. Uh, tell a little nigga he don't ride for your love like I do. He talking to these niggas. I don't want to hear what y'all saying. Tell the little nigga he don't ride for your love like I do. Uh, take that, gym trainer, man. Tell him he should pay someone to trust with a thing like I do. Are they still together? I don't know, but Savon keeps dressing but like a you trainer. Get and and goes to the gym constantly. Yeah. 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 Carrying around a jug. I think this is what you like. Asking me why 
but don't I come on. A little late to carry the jug of water around, buddy. <laughs> it's a jug full of all his tears. I just felt like I carried a jug of regrets. <laughs> Save on apples too, man. It's okay. <laughs> Crazy giving you my best. I know what type of time you want. I'm still, I'm still mad over that damn drink line. I sent a child support. She sent a heart emoji. I'm still mad about that. He's still mad about it. You mad? Drove out his way to make you come. Brand new music from Fabo. That one is called Come. Fabo. P H A B O. Love what you're doing, man. I think it's Fable. Fable? I don't know. I he just makes fire. Mm-hmm. Like nine records from this nigga. <laughs> Dope. No, that sounded hard. There's a whole project? Okay. I'm, I'm going to listen to that tonight. All right. I'm going I'm, to I'm double down since I've been potting all week. Joyce Rice, Freddie Gibbs on one. The record. Fashion week, rich bitch from every coast, pussy magnet feet, sneaky link. I need a freak like Adina Howard, not a goofy bitch that be checking phones when I'm in the shower. Police got behind us, I took the chopper, she took the powder. Lawyer got my bill, I be on the streets in a couple hours, ride for me. The game dirty, but my heart pure. Had to test the waters, I couldn't swim, I was unsure. Undecided with this shit, I'm in disguises when I hit. Sometimes I had to tell a lie to keep my bitch. I'm using quick to cut it up, but with you, I baby, can't baby, choose. What's up? Freddie Gibbs on one. It's one of my favorite records right now. Dope. It's dope record. Yeah, no, nah, she killed that shit. That's, yo, 60 degrees in New York today, and that record? Yeah, I was excited. A little <laughs> Got a little put, bop to yourself? Put all the windows Thank down. You, Parks. In the In the tunnel, too, and breathed in all the, all the, all the, all the Holland air. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Play a new joint from uh, Jay Skis, man. This is uh, some real lyrical shit. This is Suede Uppers. Going up like That's how you separate the motherfucking Y'all know the rest Look 
What we put on these pages makes the game love us I'm maintaining my proper form just like I drain jumpers When I'm penning, I'm taking extra care like suede uppers Made in the beige color I'm making sure every line is secure like a bass jumper I'm shifting your perception of what's hot like the wave runners Imagine if they took Kanye from us Imagine if they took all pain from us Like how they take our brothers away from us With state numbers longer than federal case numbers I don't write bars, I paint colors Trying to get up out the hood felt like I started made we are from a place where people felt like they just can't love us Niggas hate you from the age of little leagues and skate covers Crabs in the barrel ain't scared to pass in the fear you They say they'll tap in and hear you But if you rap then they scared to But fuck it, I ain't fearful Give me truth even if it means that I'll get an ear for Lyrically I'll turn you to the walking dead Like Morgan, I might fuck around and clear you Stand for something or niggas might volunteer you Just be careful, keep energy protected Cause suckers, they be near you I ain't saying I'm a killer But don't push me, I'm prepared uh-huh. Every time I write, I'm on some gold standard shit Cause I was on the bench for too long No load management, a healthy scratching this Felt locked out like I was capping it Even though I had mastered this I'm not who niggas really want static with This moment's beautiful, it's captionless if you captured it Rock Air 1s and 327s, that's checks and balances And that's law, no governmental branches shit This year I'm leaving the game infected like a pathogen Who matching him? They'll be searching for a similarity For 365 years after they been me. Fuck hearing me, you should feel me with your spirit be I'm extraordinarily me, it's apparent these rappers parodies Come on. It'll never be a pair of these I shot my first cover in some sixes like a pair of threes Every line butter like a pair of wheats Mitchy Beats give me home field advantage Should I just go and get my pair of cleats and get the jotting? They say you dig your own grave, you get the plotting On kings and queens of our caliber, my team's the lavish These niggas know that they can't stop it, can't stop it. Stop it. Look, it'll always be the class We riding on that plane until that motherfucker crash And every time I spit, they say that motherfucker spaz I'm leaving beats ripped just like some motherfucking abs So work out That's Jay Skis, Suede Uppers Shout out to Jay Skis Super, super dope Nah, that was dope That was dope, that was dope Ah, uh, there we go It was making a really conscious noise, yeah uh, I'm gonna play this record from uh, Jr. I guess he's a uh, ransom star. This is the first time I heard him. It's called AM1. Sometimes Produced by Nicholas Green. Sometimes such 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 a sucker for a chip. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sold already. Sometimes Maneuver through them foul niggas. What you call that? Is he from Jersey? Sometimes AM1, nigga. I don't know. Your time gon' come, nigga, that's all facts Just stay G and cook real shit, that all slap Maneuver through them foul niggas, what you call that? This that and one and some, I need all that Your time gon' come, nigga, that's all facts Just stay G and cook real shit, that all slap Maneuver through them foul niggas, what you call that? This that and one and some, I need all that yeah. I'm in this lane like James, built for the ball I'm too technical, they flagrant, but still I'm finishing strong Playing for high stakes, the greatest risk and rewards Betting on myself, I'm cool, risking it all My crew fit for the haul, been doing some heavy lifting Seamless execution with every mission Consistent when you focus, the evils can never shift it Head on a swivel, all eyes wider than Eddie Griffin's Every lyric, I just take from my rhyme scriptures Standing by my dates like I'm taking a prime picture Flow like the Amazon, you just wasting your prime, nigga Trying to pocket watch, why you wasting your time, nigga My mind getting deeper, they just trying to stay afloat We bring them dreams to life, I ain't gotta say I'm woke Social media full of shit, everybody claiming goat I be all around the game, they just like to play the post, take the notes, nigga. Your time gon' come, nigga, that's all facts. Just stay G and cook. That's J.R. and one, produced by Nicholas Craven. Um, I'm, he's signed or affiliated with Ransom, that's how I found it. Yeah, like uh, it. Shout out to Ransom. Uh, it's a little five song tape, EP, whatever the fuck you call things these days. They call I, w- I was gonna hit uh, Nicholas Craven to try to cook up some R&B shit with him. Because yeah, the way he dope. flips samples... It's R and B ish. Yeah, it is. It is. It's very R and B ish. Yeah, hey, you should hit them. Y'all look yeah. like twins anyway. That is that is true. <laughs> the, the, the day uh, their last project came out, everyone was like, "Damn, I didn't know Rory and Ransom did a project together." I was like, <laughs> "Like we didn't, but that shit fire." <laughs> yeah, Nicholas Craven, he's dope, man. Shout out to Montreal, I believe, is where he's from. 
Okay. Shout out to oh, I can't wait to get and, back and to shout Montreal. Out, shout out to I'm Ram. Montreal. Oh my god. What can't a great little city, man. Love Montreal. Big what city, what are we guess. waiting on? The borders are not on. Are they open? Yeah, I think oh, we no, no, I quarantine take, though. I take oh, that no, back. Yeah, I was uh I have a friend in Toronto that I was like, I'm gonna come up there. And she was like, Oh no, you you're gonna have to literally like stay in a hotel for two weeks yeah. to even then walk outside. Yeah, some crazy shit like that. <laughs> and and which I responded with Bet. Yeah. <laughs> the words, I was yeah, great. Like, <laughs> two weeks? I don't know about two weeks. A week I could do. I know how to use a Zoom now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a Zoomer. Hey, I can sneak out the hotel. Yeah. Uh, sure. I could I could run the Toronto. Does that have a balcony? Is that all I need? <laughs> yeah. Is there any homeless people that are asking for cigarettes outside? <laughs> Alright, we'll we'll let this guy do his, his sign off and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. That's right. Acknowledge I got the best sign off in the world. <laughs> you could have signed it off. But you, mm. you waited. That's right. We don't Yo, know the poem. The ego shit the is poem. insane. Yo. Yeah, we don't know the poem. I haven't. E- I'm not losing it. <laughs> I don't blame. You find another. It. You find other areas of your ego. I'm gonna find more areas. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. great at. Yeah. Like, oh, curved her. More greatness. <laughs> more greatness. <laughs> I do miss the old. That nigga is great. I no, do no, miss no. the old poem. Can't do that on Women's Month. Yo, that bar. I guess it took me to get older to understand that one. She's not cute. She's young. That might be one of your greatest bars of all time. We gotta time. go. Don't get me triggered. <laughs> we gotta go. Because <laughs> no. she's not cute. She's young. And all the girls are starting to look exactly the same, man. They've been looking the same. Yeah. For years now. All, all they do is go to doctors and say, make me look like her. Give me her tits, her ass. You her know the chart they had at the barbershop that no one actually used? But yeah, yeah they just pointing at the chart. Make me look like this they person. All, all, all women wear the same shit because they follow each other on Instagram. So they end up ordering the same outfit. It's all the same. It's all the same. Whatever, Lex- Lex- Blake, whatever Alexis Sky went back and did, <laughs> I like it. Oh, I haven't seen her. Yo, Kim she went back Kim's, and did something. I, I've never been like a, a huge Kim enthusiast, but hello, new body. Shit, look all right. Kardashian? Mm-hmm. She went and got the new one. Kim going crazy since that divorce shit. <laughs> Kim and Erica Mina, I don't know what Kanye and Safari about to do, but <laughs> listen. <laughs> Hopefully to do an album. I seen it. Erica post some shit today. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna like this one. <laughs> I, I this can't. one I'm gonna fall back. This on. one I, I gotta give my guy some space, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man, this hook was so great. They should have started the record with this hook, but I won't tell Trick Trick that. <laughs> hey, Yo. Trick Trick, start this record. How you feel like it, man? Yeah. Say, Monkey, write down for Saturday. No more lip fillers. No more lip fillers. All of their lip injections look stupid. <laughs> no yeah. one is telling them. We can just get into it now. They all look <laughs> dumb. Why do they keep doing this? Saturday. Save it. Who is kissing them that they have to do this? Why do they think it looks fly? I saw a picture. I don't of even one think my- they like it for them because that's always the excuse, and I understand that. I do it for me. I don't think you think you look good. <laughs> yeah, you're doing that for me to like you. <laughs> <laughs> ego And I don't Ego, ego once ego. again Ego, ego, ego again Mama Get out of the If you ain't giving me What I want My niggas Tidy bandanas And sneakers Wait a minute Yeah I do a die This is a nightmare hey. Don't call it a suicide You should have made a phone call Shorty yesterday you Yo, screaming been... so funny <laughs> Yo I was like I don't like that <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say this even though it could get me beat up, but I'm going to say it anyway. I wanted to tell Royce and all of them when they started the no-fly zone shit that niggas could skip the train. Joe said that. Joe Budden. Joe Budden. I love the train. said that. Carlos loves the train. Don't do that. That wasn't Joe Budden. I never want to skip the train. That was Save My Mind. OCB. Yo, know what's funny about that? Like, niggas that say that about Detroit, we did like 1900 in Detroit you know, so for the podcast. It was one of my favorite shows. It was, one of, it was honest, one of our best shows. Yeah. And my favorite meet and greet. Just because yeah. people from Detroit are just different. mad cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, they held Detroit, us down. Detroit appreciates shit different they than do. most cities. And like, it's one of the most uh, musical and creative cities. Yeah, Detroit, they, y'all appreciate shit for real. Yeah. They was fucked too. Heavy. Nah, nah, cock me back from the top, man. Just off the cock? 
<laughs> cock you back off the top. Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> I mean, I only, do I need to explain that? There's two vowels <laughs> in the three words, so. Is that one that needs to be explained? Mike check. Hun, pod freestyle. Let's go. Let's go, Rory. Nah, I gotta say my Listen, you like crazy. Mm-hmm. I thought you leaving wouldn't phase me. Mm-hmm. Looking in the mirror can't face me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I gotta take I gotta take accountability. I was lazy. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Rory, get it to your get it to your back now. <laughs> he, he took accountability. He took accountability. <laughs> I was lazy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ever since you left, been going crazy. Yo, Rory would kill a break of words. This nigga so stupid, man. Oh, man. Shout out to all the girls without dads. <laughs> yes. Shout out to all the women without fathers. <laughs> we love y'all. Yes. Do. I'm your dad. You have given me so much joy, yet so much turmoil. <laughs> yeah, we getting out of here. After George Michael get his shit up. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> White soul. Where All right, we out here. Where else can you go from trick trick to George Michael? <laughs> <laughs> this is why they here. This is why they listen. Uh, they put the bars over the George Michael. Yeah. <laughs> That's ill. And when this song was out, I had no idea George Michael was a trick trick. I'll just, I'll just close it. Just close it. I'll just, I'll just get us We've out. We dragged us on a life long is, enough. Life is important. It is this sort of life. Or does it? Yeah. You need, you need the life. You yeah, enjoy life. life. Nah, you yeah, need yeah. life to breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me how I'm supposed to breathe with no air. Honestly, still don't know how. <laughs> You've never seen air before. We don't know it exists. Hey, Jordan Sparks ain't seen Chris Brown since that song. <laughs> 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 Get my hook back. Don't do that. All right, damn it. All right, we we leaving. <laughs> I'll be ready to pop when we get to the end. <laughs> All right, listen, we out of here. Hope you enjoyed it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> who's, who's the artist that did all the TikTok shit? That he clowned. He jumped in the pants. Huh? He's fucking, yeah. He's Noel's cousin. Uh, Yeah, Jason Derulo. It's who's cousin? Noel. Y'all met her. No. Um... <laughs> His diss track to Jordan Sparks, we just skipped over on this pod, and we should go back to that. He says, I never need a spark to light my blunt. I was like, oh, he's killing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jason Derulo diss <laughs> Jordan Sparks? No, it's one of the greatest diss records ever. <laughs> Holy shit. And I could, <laughs> I think I'm butchering that line. But there is a diss record of Jason Derulo to Jordan Sparks, and that shit is fire. Saturday pod Write it down We'll do a lyric breakdown <laughs> Alright Goodbye yeah, that's, that's, we're here. that's amazing to me yeah. Alright we're gonna do that then Oh no nah, Yeah I broke up with my ex Ain't talked to her since The only time I need to spark Is when I light up my spliff That's a bar Air horn <laughs> No it's a bar In the context of when Putting it in the song <laughs> Yeah, I've been all around the world. Probably write me a book. Three kitchens in the crib. I don't even know how to cook. Uh, I got a mansion in Miami. I forgot how I look. Mm. This is t- all I need is two things, and that's pussy and Kush. That's hey. <laughs> that nigga's hurt. Wait, who said this? <laughs> you Jason need more than pussy and Kush. He misses like her it. so much. <laughs> His life is a mess. He, he wants her back. He wants her back so bad. <laughs> Jason Derulo said all this. Oh, feeling like the Oh, oh, the next line waving in the foreign. It got to be a foreign in the verse. Yeah. Yo, I'm trying to get a car because I need a car. I don't have a car. The, uh, and can we get oh, over that foreign much. line? Long story. Most cars man. are foreign. Yeah. Hondas are foreign. <laughs> I have a Mazda. A Kia is it's foreign. foreign. <laughs> yeah, right. We were there for the beginning of Kias. Oh, we I were there for the beginning of Jet Blue when it was Spirit. We were there for the beginning of some things. Yeah. I miss Kia too. <laughs> they don't even name bitches Kia no more. My <laughs> but the Kias used, was always my fire. Kias used to go so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kia, she does my nails. Your life is listen. Uh, life is cool. She Kia, just said Kia, Kia, West Side of keep, keep living. Rock to my world. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone out there, keep living, enjoy life, <laughs> spread love. Oh, that's a good, it's an AMB for for sure. 
Spread love, <laughs> pussy, and kush, because that's all we need. And foreign. Listen, man, life is a series of moments and moments past, so let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. From the kitchen, you got Until next crib. time, I bid you adieu one part. Seven. I bid you adieu. Farewell. Hasta la vista. Adios. So long. Goodbye. Uh, something else I'm forgetting here that I always say. Uh, fuck y'all. No, nah, something else. I mean, it's fine. Fuck you guys. We're out of here. Uh, do remember to uh, what the fuck did I? Oh, the baddies, the insecure, the stagnant chicks want to travel. And, uh, it's presenting. <laughs> the stagnant chicks want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach some things. Enjoy your headache. Grab well, an ibuprofen. Thank my family. I want to thank. Um, the AMB Academy. If you're out there and you see Woody Allen next to you, call the police immediately. <laughs> Kick his ass. Call the cops. Get him off the. Get that terror off the streets. I see you try to bring uh, the culture into into the MAGA. A little hunting hat with the upside down LA. <laughs> it's not what I tried. To. Dick, Dick, sport- it Dick sporting is good. Meets Los Angeles. That's <laughs> not what I tried. To do. <laughs> So George Michael telling some dude he'll be his father is crazy. <laughs> Big said he was gonna suck Shorty's father's dick. We're out of here. See, I'm not See? <laughs> See? Not today, Roy. Enjoy <laughs> yourself. Enjoy yourself. No one thought it was funny that Drake kept saying he wanted uh, Jesus. And he's, never mind, forget it. No, the, the hook, the entire hook. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Is that right how he needs? No, 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 Rory, you don't need to expound that. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Just asking. Yeah. That's a great point. <laughs> Just asking. I want a Drake interview. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask him. <laughs> no. <laughs> No Joe Biden.